Check, check, one, two, check, check, one, two. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? If you can, drop those airplane emojis in the chat. As always, welcome, welcome aboard. Let's try this again. What's up, Niels? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. Monsterific. What's up, man? James Hedrick, welcome to the stream. Matt J, good morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Alright, jump on camp. It's loud here at the airport today. <laughs> I want to bring that down a little bit. What is going on, beautiful, beautiful people? Welcome, welcome back. I'm not going to waste any time today. It's your boy Blue. This is Microsoft Flight Simulator. And uh, yeah, we're back in the Phoenix A320 here in Oslo Airport in Norway today. And uh, we're at, as you can see, we're here at our gate. We're flying in the 320 right there flying for Scandinavian Airlines. We tried to do this flight yesterday and I had a crash, uh, a full crash, my whole PC crashed, uh, Microsoft crashed my PC. Actually, my PC didn't crash. It was the stream crashed, Microsoft crashed, and uh, all my screens went black, but my PC was still running. It was really weird. I don't know. Um, I, I still don't actually know what fixed it. Um, I don't know if it is fixed, so if for some reason, you see that the stream has just died. Um, that means it's happened again. So I'm I, something I got to figure out why and what happened. But anyways, um, we're gonna assume everything is working just fine, and we're gonna go along with our flight today. Been looking forward to this flight. Again, we're flying in a brand new airport made by Aerosoft. This is Oslo E N G M here in Norway, flying Scandinavian Airways. But uh, beautiful airport, great job. Aerosoft has really done a good job with this airport. I mean, look at that. Ay, ay, ay. It's first of all in real life. This is a beautiful airport, uh, but Aerosoft obviously did a good job of like, you know, capturing the beauty of what this airport is. So really liking it. Very, very nice scenery. As you can see, we'll be enjoying it. So depending on how everything goes, uh, we are planning to fly to Copenhagen today. Um, I don't know if we'll do a second leg. It kind of depends on how much time it takes us to get there and how my day is looking and things like that. We might we might do a second leg, we'll see. But the plan is to go up to Copenhagen, and as a bonus, we might come back here. We'll see. 
we will see. But anyways, let's hop into the flight deck. And uh, I want to get going before anything goes wrong <laughs> with our flight or with the stream today. Uh, I was really looking forward to doing this flight yesterday. Like I said, I was very upset and disappointed that we were not able to complete our flight uh, yesterday, man. You guys know how it is. If you've been a flight simmer for any amount of time, you know how it is when you're really excited about flying a new plane, going to a new scenery, or uh, just flying in general, and something comes up, whether your wife calls you to do something, or your sim crashes, or your mom says you gotta do your homework, whatever it is, whatever stage of life you are, you know, when you're looking forward to, get to doing a flight and you don't get to do it, you have like this hole missing in your life. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I felt that ever since yesterday. Uh, what's up, Blue Bear? Have I tried any military cargo aircraft? Uh, yes. Yes, I have. I don't do it very often, though, in Microsoft. I don't do it very often, but I'm not against it. That's a good suggestion. Anyways, all right, we're in a flight deck. Let's get her ready. So right now we're on ground power. Uh, we've not really done anything except for put it on ground power. It's basically just kind of in a, a ready to get set up state. So let's first start by loading our aircraft. That's going to take about 15 to 20 actual minutes with GX GSX. Uh, I already have my flight plan loaded in from SimBrief. And uh, clicking on that one single button is going to basically just have everything happen for us. All the ground services are going to be taken care of from fueling, catering, passenger boarding, bags, all that with just one click of a button. And I love you. I love you for that, Phoenix. It's amazing. It's amazing. Anyways, all right. So that's good. Um, my, my, my. Let's go ahead and go down here to our MCD. We'll click on init data request. And we will see, uh, we should get our flight plan in here pretty easily. We do have ATC today as well. So we're gonna need to call them up and get our IFR clearance. What's up, Eason? Welcome to the stream. Richard, welcome back to the stream, man. Here to chill and fly with peanuts. Absolutely, man. Good to have you with us. Vulcan, welcome to the stream as well. Uh, you're also, oh wow, uh, Oslo's your home airport. That's pretty cool. Funny that your name is Phoenix and we're flying to Phoenix and your home airport is Oslo. Like. You were meant to land here today, my friend. Thank you for hanging out. Again, we are live on YouTube. We are live on TikTok and Twitch. So wherever you're watching from, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and joining us. Hope you're having a great week so far. Um, today, we are back for a vengeance. We are back to avenge yesterday's crash to desktop experience I had. I had a lot of PC problems yesterday. Matter of fact, I've been having kind of weird things happening with my PC in general uh, the last couple of weeks. So um, I got to get that looked at. I think, honestly, it's, it's probably the fact that my PC is getting a bit dusty. Um, I broke the front panel of the case, and so now it's just open. So all of the air from my room, including my dog's hair and all the dust, is just being sucked into the PC case. And I need to go and uh, air that out. I need, to, I need to buy me a can of air and, uh, and get that cleaned out. I know that that can fix a lot of things. So, yeah, so we should be fueling. Let's go check and see. Yep, there's a fueler. Just showed up. What's up, Nutrient8? Welcome to the stream. Uh, hello from nor uh, further north in Norway. Which part of Norway are you from? This guy is a hustler. You saw him just running? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, Phoenix, it's kind of random, man. You know, sometimes there's a lot of people watching on TikTok. Sometimes there's a few people watching on TikTok. I don't know how the TikTok algorithm works. <laughs> But uh, either way, I do the same thing. It doesn't matter if there's five people watching or 5,000 people watching. It is the same show. All right, uh, where were we? Let's go back down here. We'll go to IRS initialization. Get that taken care of. Right, actually, it's already going. That's good. Cool. All right, let's go back to cruise. So today, we are cruising or planning to cruise. And again, we're going to call ATC here in just a little bit once I kind of get this partially set up. Cruising at 37,000 feet. So flight level 37,000. So flight level 37. And oh, we'll put that right there. And then our oh, format error. What did I do? What did I do? F L three seven O. There we go. You're in a flight from LA to JFK. Nice. That's a nice little. Uh, what's that? Five six hour flight. Enjoy that little cross country flight, man. Uh, and then our cost index for today is ten. One O. Oh. Uh, is GSX worth it? Um, yes, yes it is. In my opinion, it is worth it. I use it for every single flight, so I've gotten my money's worth for sure. Uh, so again, uh, just as we were going to do before, today's flight is based on a real-world Scandinavian Airlines flight. Flight number 459, so Scandinavian 4. 
five nine. If you want to look it up, uh, you can look it up on Flight Aware or Flight Radar Twenty Four, wherever you track flights. But yes, this is a real world um, daily service between Scandinavia. Uh, sorry, between Oslo and Copenhagen. So S A S. That's kind of the way I like to do my flights. Most of the flights you see me do, matter of fact, like 90%, 99%, 95 95% of the flights that you see me do on live streams or even the ones I do on my own are all based on real world flights that either exist today or existed at some point in the past. So, all right, that's good. Let's go ahead and see if ATC is still online. And first, we'll check what the weather is. Uh, so it looks like uh, departure, there it is, 127.15. We can actually put that into our thing. So 127.15, 127.15. Using my uh, my radio stack here. It's just taking me a while to get there. 127, what did I say? 127.15. There it is. For contact approach 120.45. Met report. Wind 360 degrees 11 knot variable between 310 and 040 degrees. Cat OK. Temperature 8, 2 point minus 8. QNH 1009. Nozig. Acknowledge information Lima on first contact. Okay, I didn't understand any of that. <laughs> Oslo Garter Moon Departure Information Lima. Time 1520 Zulu. Hey, Runway 01 left and 01 right in use. For en route clearance request via data link or contact approach 120.45. Met report. Wind 360 degrees 11 knot variable between 310 and 040 degrees. Cat OK. Temperature 8, 2 point minus 8. QNH 1009. Nozig. Acknowledge information Lima on first contact. All right, guys, we have information Lima. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and hop back into the cockpit and we'll switch Lima. over to our correct ATC. Sasha, yes, I am on VATSIM. I'm on e You guys don't even have to ask anymore. I'm always on VATSIM. Like every flight is VATSIM. It doesn't matter if it's ATC or not, I'm on it. <laughs> but yes, to answer your question, I am on VATSIM. Uh, no, I do not know when Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 is coming, but my prediction. With no insider information, my prediction is going to be late fall. Uh, that is my prediction. Like around August, September time, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, call sign today is Scandinavian116. Josh, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? I'm glad to see you, man. I miss you, bro. I'm going to be honest. I miss you. I do. It's weird to say. So, like, man to man or whatever. But, like, you've been, like, around the channel for a while. I know you've been busy with armor and whatnot. But I uh, miss you. Miss seeing you around, man. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you're doing well, man. What up, Ken LeMay? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? All right. Anyways, I'm getting. Um, you guys are distracting me. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. Let me, let me get the. I need y'all to stay out there because I need to call for ATC clearance real quick. <laughs> I. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Ah, I love this game. <laughs> I think it's done with the fuel. I guess. Oh, this, I really like this livery. I love the metallic look to it. That's pretty dope. Two eight seven four nine er straight through shot start approved to Q and H bolt zero zero nine er. All right, let's call them up. All right, we're expecting the Oxa four Alpha or Bravo. That's what they gave us yesterday. Border one three seven passing three thousand. Let's call them. Border one three seven. Uh, we're staying seven seven. Flight level two one zero. Passing 5, feet. What's up, Rail Rant? This is Microsoft Flight Simulator, and uh, we're on PC, but it's also available on Xbox. But uh, we're on PC today, man. Scandinavian 116 is at Oslo Stand 77, IFR to Copenhagen with Lima. Scandinavian 116, Oslo Approach, good evening. Cleared Copenhagen. Oxot 6, Bravo departure, and then they sail up on the right, climb 7,000 feet, squawk 4506. Go to Copenhagen via the Oxa for a uh, 6, Bravo departure, setting runway 1 right, up to 7,000, and squawk 4506 for Scandinavian 116. Scandinavian 116, is that correct? 
That's what I like to hear. Read back correct. All right, let's go back into the flight deck and uh, put in our info. Alaska Airlines has been grounded. Really? Is that true? What happened? You got you guys are my news. I don't watch the news, so you guys are my news. Update me. What happened with Alaska? Why are they grounded? Is that true? Or are you making this up? Are you memeing me right now? Uh, what do I think about Scandinavian joining the Sky Team and leaving the Star Alliance? Uh, I'm a Star Alliance guy, so that sucks. Um, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> I don't know if it makes a difference for me or not, honestly. But um, and I'm only Star Alliance because I, I grew up flying United, and United is a part of Star Alliance, so. That's why. Right, how are we looking here? I uh, got 130 passengers boarded, so boarding is complete. Uh, we're still waiting on some cargo. Uh, we have all of our fuel on board. Let's go ahead and get the APU started up. Go to the top side, get the pumps on. All of the pumps left, right, and center. And hopefully you guys can hear. Uh, we're going to, as I always do, go back and take a listen to the startup of the APU. So we hit the master switch on the APU down here. Can I have four seven eight seven straight to shunt start approved Q and H one zero zero nine. FTS, welcome to the stream. Am I excited about Simmering Bond? And for those who don't know, that is a train sim world. Uh, DLC is coming out tomorrow, and yes, I am excited because, you know what, I'll be streaming it tomorrow. I already have it. I've been playing it. I got early access to it. Uh, matter of fact, I have clearance to start showing it starting today, but I decided to do a stream tomorrow instead. So if you like trains, we'll be uh, driving a, a train through Austria tomorrow for our live stream, so come back and check that out. Thank you for that. I missed it. I clicked it, and I don't think it registered. All right, flaps uh, okay, open. Pastor, four, eight, eight, seven, requesting IFR, Starting APU. Uh, clearance to, uh, to SOA Airport uh, via runway zero one left. First, scan the Raven 221, wind 35 zero degrees, one five knots, runway zero one left, cleared for takeoff. FAA grounded Alaska this morning. Let me, let me look that up and see if it's true. Eight, eight, seven, approach, good evening, flying away. I need you on an even flight level. Would you like flight level 300 or flight level 327? Um, I'm on the stand to do four and you can hear me please. After 4887, flying westbound, I need you on an even cruise level. Would you like okay. flight level 300 final altitude? Or flight level 3. Uh, APU bleed on. Sorry, we couldn't hear the APU because uh, just there's a lot of other planes out there making a lot more noise than we are. All right, APU's fired up. We're just waiting for bags to finish. And they're almost done. Uh, not much, much else I can do except for I go to our flight plan. We go to ENGM departure. Uh, he gave us runway. I do have information about Alaska Airlines, guys. So once we get in cruise, We'll talk okay, about that, all right? But I got a window up on my other monitor because um, this I just found out about that myself, and I'm very curious to why Alaska Airlines has been grounded. Obviously, you could Google it yourself, but um, all right. He gave us runway 01 right. 01 right, and it's going to be Oxus 6 Bravo. Insert. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and drop in our arrival just for just for fun. Arrival is going to be the Erna 2 Alpha. Uh, for runway 04 left. Uh, we'll expect the ILS 04 left. Erna 2 Alpha, no transition. Insert that. And that is our entire flight plan. One thing I do like about flying in Europe is that all of their departures and arrivals are usually, in our case, it's not. I was about to brag on you guys. Uh, but a lot of times it's connected. Like it's all there's no discontinuities. It's just straight in. GPS takes you straight to the runway. Not in this case. Yeah, but we have a vector. All right, so that's good to go. We should be done boarding. Almost like 300 kilos left uh, to board. All right, what we got? So in it is almost done. Flight plan is done. We're just gonna wait to get our last final numbers. And right here, you can see what doors are open. We'll go down here and drop in the squat code that they gave us, which was 4506. Direct 
Four five zero six dropped in. Scan driven four seven eight seven because taxi. Scan driven four seven eight seven taxi kilo and November holding point zero one left. Uh, at November, correction on Kilo, give way to the Norwegian oh, listen. 737800 from right to left on November. That's the sound of the uh, the cargo doors closing. Matter of fact, I felt it close in the butt kicker. That's freaking dope. That's freaking dope. Boarding is officially complete. That was a front door. They didn't close the back one yet. They left the back one open. What's up, Zach? Welcome to the stream. All right, all the doors are shut. We'll do our quick uh, pre-trip walk around. Starting with the nose. Nose looks good. We obviously want to check the gear. Make sure that gear looks good. The bypass pin should be in at this point. It wasn't shut, no scratches, uh, no equipment, dents it, make sure the fuel panel is closed. All the engine blades are unobstructed, no cracks, no broken, no missing blades, no bird nest, <laughs> no bird's nest. Remember yesterday, we picked this plane up for maintenance uh, before our flight got delayed. <laughs> Uh, so, want to make sure there ain't nothing wrong with it. Make sure she's airworthy. Flaps all look good. You want to check the gear here. Make sure the brakes look fine. Make sure there's uh, plenty of rubber on the tire. The rear doors close. The uh, the pooper is closed as well. Where the <laughs> where the lav goes. Looks good back there. This is where the water goes. This is where you refill the water. It's clean water, by the way. Clean water. Yep, looks good so far. Uh, would I recommend... Ooh, great question, Pinji. Great question. Would I recommend Microsoft Flight Sim to an X-Plane user? And I have to say yes. I have to say yes. I think you should at least try it. I think if you're an X-Plane user and you're considering Microsoft Flight Sim, you should at least try it. Um, so I, I understand a lot of uh, X-Plane users are very heavy into the flight model and how it feels. Um, and that is something that's just not going to be great in Microsoft right now. All right, beacon lights on. Uh, once we've turned the beacon on, that basically signals the ground crew that we're ready to move, ready to push back. So the ground crew will now start to approach the aircraft. Uh, we are on APU power. We can go ahead and disconnect the external power, which has already been done. Thank you, the ground crew. We we'll disconnect the air and the uh, power. He has cleared us up to 7,000 feet. Uh, also, I don't know if I can show this on camera. Let me see. So, I'm using this. This is called a uh, mini FCU. So, Winwing also released something just like this. I don't have the Winwing one. I have the one by Mini Cockpit. But uh, anyway, I just want to show you guys that I am using that. So, I'll be using that to, to manipulate my um, my altitudes and my numbers and everything like that. But, uh, sadly, I don't have a link for it. Uh, they have not provided me with an updated link uh, that works. So... I don't even know how to get it, to be honest. Right now, your best bet is to get the Win Wing one, but I haven't watched any reviews. I don't know if it's actually good. So this is not me saying I recommend it because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's good or not. All right, since the MCDU, that's gonna send our weight and balance info to here. That's beautiful, five by five, or 5.5, that's good. Let's now go over to our performance page. We'll go to our departure performance page here on the EFE. Come on, there we go. Oh. There it is. All right, so we have a dry runway. Departing runway zero one right, and we'll sync that. Uh, flaps will do one plus F. Uh, no force toga today. No anti ice. We'll have the packs on. Uh, let's do nose. Ooh, that's a good question. What direction are we pushing back? 
I actually don't know. Let me ask him. Uh, hold on. Two eight zero or less. Two eight zero or less. Nordic one one five one. What's up, DJ Tony? Scandinavian one one six is ready for push and start with uh, Romeo Lima. One of those. <laughs> First, Scandinavian four seven eight seven having this as T six zero degrees nine knots. Run this zero one left. Let me get the weather again. I don't know if it changed. Scandinavian four seven eight seven zero one left. Clear it's uh, it's. Nordic Nordic Quebec, correction. Nine yeah. Charlie Quebec, identified. Climb flight level two one zero and report your passing altitude. He's kind of busy right now. So we had to fly level six. Uh, I, I think he's going to fly level two one six. I'm going to fly the red nose nine Charlie Quebec. Nordic Nordic Charlie Quebec, thank you. Proceed direct to Nano. Direct to Nano. Nano red nose nine Charlie Quebec. Thank you, Emily. Speedbird 749 air, wind 340 degrees, 1 1 knot, runway 0 1 right, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, runway 0 1 right, speedbird 749 air. Canadian 116, ready for pushback. Straight push, and God. start approved, QNH 1009 air. You're talking to me? You might have been talking to me. What was that last call for uh, Scandinavian 116? Scandinavian 116, straight push, QNH 1009er. Straight push, 1009er, Scandinavian 116. Alright, let's just push straight Master back. Master 4887, uh, ready to taxi to runway 01 left. Master 4887, taxi golf and November to holding point 01 left. Wait, Fire one is... November to 01 left, thank you. Straight push back? Yeah. Scandinavian 1151, decent, flight level 100. Alright, uh, let's just make sure we're good. Up ahead is good. Level 100, I guess that was for a Nordic 1051. Yeah, we can go ahead and release brakes. Brakes release, good to push Nordic straight back. Nordic 21, uh, Mike, decent, flight level 100. South flight level 100, Nordic uh, 2, Mike. Nordic Niner, Charlie Quebec, right. contact Polaris Control, 121, one, test right, we're rolling, guys. Look, another uh, 320 Neo behind us. Last time I for right, right, I'm going to turn them good. down. Nordic Niner, Charlie Quebec, for engine contact start. Polaris, and turn the sound up. If you have headphones on, you're welcome. Look at that beautiful 320 Neo right there. Just rolling in. And we are starting engine 2. M210, scanning 4787, any shortcut? Sound up. Ladies and As we are about to demonstrate the safety features of our Airbus A320 aircraft. Thank you. Gentlemen, welcome aboard our Airbus A320. Please pay attention to illuminated signs and crew instructions, including the following safety Set parking parking brakes. The safety card I'm surprised you didn't go farther back than that. Important information about Unlocking gear. Life jackets and the brace position, which you must adopt if you hear brace, brace. There are eight emergency exits on this aircraft. The cabin crew are now pointing out the exits nearest to you. Starting, uh, well, hold on. Alright, let's go start up engine right one. Clear. Right is clear. With the strap, pull on each side to adjust. Put on your own mask before helping others. If we land on water, take a life jacket from under your seat. Remove from the pouch and put it over your head. Pass the tapes around your waist and click together. One should be starting up. to adjust. Not inflate the life jacket inside the aircraft. When out. 
Huh. Is that a bug? There it is. Now it's starting. Stuff. There's another aircraft outside and it's just super loud and it's drowning out all the noises. <laughs> I think it's a Vatsim plane. I'm pretty sure it is. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, landing, I said landing gear, the uh, flaps down. Actually, hold on. Center that. Flaps down. Beautiful. Alright, let's get out of here, guys. Let's get out of here. Master switch off for the APU. APU boost coming off. And let's go ahead and call for taxi. Am I forgetting anything? I feel like I am. Yeah, I am. The SVS PWS. We're squawking Charlie. Flaps are down. That's armed. Oh, we forgot to do the whole. Yeah, we for hold on. We forgot that. This won't take long. Sync. We got to do our, our V speeds. I would have been really upset if I had forgotten to do that. All right, let's calculate it. That's it. Send it to the MCDU, and boom, there it is. All right, so the only thing I need to do is go to next phase and type in 204. 204. That's a point. Come on. Yeah, 204. And I get that number from uh, the clean, the zero equals 204, I get it from there. All right, put this on flight plan, put this one on perf. Now, we are ready. Yeah, let's turn back up. Scandinavian 449, question 30. Uh, MK Studios LaGuardia just dropped today. Nice. Yeah, well, I guess I'm gonna have to pick it up myself. Uh, we flew to LaGuardia like a couple weeks ago, and I was very disappointed in the scenery that I had. So, um, and I, it's funny, I, I had just mentioned how we needed a new LaGuardia scenery, and boom, we got one. Not saying it's because of me at all. They've, they've been working on it for a long time. But, uh, I'm going to give it a try. I'm starting to run out of space for scenery, though, I'll, I'll be honest. Thank you so much, Mr. Wrestling. For the sub, welcome to the blue team, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Alright, let's call. Let's get in here. Speed 115 speed 200, not or less. 200, or less, Nordic 115 Scandinavian 116, ready to taxi with Lima. Scandinavian 116, taxi Romeo and Juliet. Holding point, Bravo 1, Bravo 0, Bravo 3. What was that first text where you said? Juliet and Sierra, holding point, 0, 1, right. Juliet and Sierra, holding point, 0, 1, right. Uh, Scandinavian 1, 6. Okay, Sierra, holding point, 1, right. And, uh, Oslova, Scandinavian 1, 3, 2, 6. So, we press the text label, Alpha 3. Scandinavian 1326, taxi Golf, November, holding point Alpha 3, 0 1 left. Brakes release. Golf, November, Alpha 3, for 0 1 left, Scandinavian 1326. I actually didn't look. Which, which direction is that? <laughs> uh, that is the uh, runway's to our left. Sierra 1's over there, so it's a left turn. Speed 2 1 Mike, speed 2 2 0 knots, or grade 2, until Let go. Via Elven cleared our TV ski, runway 0 1 left. 
2000 natt så gick jag runt till Elven men vi har Elven klädd där en pivisky ren med sirvon left uh, Nordic to Mike. Så det kom man på en bomb Out of brakes max. Blocked but I copied the 160 into 4 in order And to take off one. config should be okay. Nordic to Mike Mike after Elven speed 18 Take off config normal. Miles. Watch out for that ATR. After 11, uh, one eight zero not for uh, until six miles in Nordic two miles. <laughs> feel there doesn't feel there. I completely agree, man. I completely agree. It's a kind of it's it's kind of it's yeah, like that for eight, 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 seven, all of their scenery. Alright, we're rolling. Uh, 6,750 feet. Officer 4887, thank you. Proceed direct to Ip mod. Direct Ip mod, officer 4887. Skyman 488, poly ready. I forgot our taxi lights. Camera in 488, 23, 40 degrees, 1 knots, runway 0 on the right, Clear one wise, clear for take of him and for it. Push lower, uh, should be for five to get ready for a right Kendra turn for five. Push lower, right, push and start to prove to QA one zero one zero straight push. Push and start to prove the QA one zero one zero straight. Yeah, that, Qatar 787. Scan driven 279 with the Coast Clearance. Scan driven 279er, Oslo approach, good evening. Cleared to destination. With What's up, Mr. Santa Claus? Trip. If you guys are just joining in with us, welcome aboard. Uh, we are flying in the Phoenix A320 with Scandinavian Airlines today. We are currently in Oslo, Norway. Beautiful country, I have to say. Beautiful country and a great airport. Uh, this airport is made by Aerosoft. This airport releases on the 18th, uh, whenever that is. I don't know what today is, so it comes out on the 18th by Aerosoft. And uh, we're flying to Copenhagen today. And I believe that is in Denmark, I think. Can you 279 clear to your destination uh, out of runway zero 01 left, initially 7,000 feet, and uh, confirm the Papa um, is uh, Victor India Papa, Alpha 1 Alpha? Uh, a firm reaper, correct. Roger. The 18th is tomorrow? Oh. <laughs> it comes out tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what day it is, man. I don't know what day it is. So that's where we got towed from yesterday. Wow. Going a little fast on the Southwest taxi. 32 knots. What's up, Chef Luke? This is the A320. Today's flight is only a, just about an hour long. Left turn, hotel, Mike, uh, so we'll be up and right back, back, back down in, in no time. First, Nordic 1151, wind 330 degrees, 9 knots, runway 013, clear to land. Alright, 01 is, I think, right here. Nordic no, that's 
Yes, it's an actual hour, Tony Stewart. Everything in this Canada game is real time. Everything is real time in this game. Canada 1326, identified climb flight level 210. Flight level 210, Canada 1326. Canada 116 at Sierra 1, uh, Sierra 1 right, ready to go. Scan Raven 116, behind you arriving, Norwegian 737-800, line up and wait, runway 01 right, behind. Line up and wait, behind the 737 on 01 right, scan Raven 116. Nordic 424, stand. I don't see him. Nordic 424, straight push and start to bruise to QNH 1010. Oh, I see him. Alright, well, let's watch. Scandinavian 45 Juliet to request taxi. Scandinavian 45 Juliet, taxi gold November, to holding point, from base 01. Actually, we have a Norwegian 737 800 landing. Taxi gold from November, and holding point, from base 01. Oh, a train! <laughs> All right, let's see, guys. Let's rate his landing out of 10. Nice, stable approach. There's a flare. Oh, big float. Big float. Still floating. There it is. He's down. <laughs> All right, it's our turn. Oh wait! Oh, uh, Blue fans at 320 coming in as well. I don't know if that's AI or a real person. We're gonna wait just in case. Yes, we are on that side. Nose down. That's a 321. Oh yeah, <laughs> he he smacked her on there. All right, let's go. Uh, he said line up and wait. He did not clear us for takeoff. Lane lights are all on. Flight attendant, see for takeoff. Control Nordic one one five one, make it to the Nordic one one five one, taxi Papa and Delta stand seven six. All right, finals Papa, clear. Delta seven six, uh, Nordic one one five one. If you guys want to see the flight control cam view, that'll be on YouTube and Twitch. Using the Thrustmaster, Airbus, Captain Pack, Joystick and Throttle Pack. Scan driven 1326, contact Polaris Control, 12155. Code lighter from 121550 is going to be 1326 Hadera. And there's our runway, 01 right. Ladies and gentlemen, next stop, Copenhagen, Denmark. It was a really nice little stop here in Oslo. And we'll hold it right here. You know what they say? A mile of open road will take you a mile, but a mile of runway. Take you anywhere. Can drive in 77 Charlie, slow approach, straight push and start to prove to QNH 1010. Straight push and QNH 1010, push and start to prove to scan the 77 Charlie. Might want to close this door. <laughs> For safety <laughs> reasons. Can drive in 116, wind 340 degrees, 110, runway 01 right, cleared for takeoff. Let me close it. Airborne. Runway 01 right, cliff takeoff, holding no airborne. Scan Avian 16. Scan Avian 4490. Alright, guys. Flare 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 Flex in the chat. And if that's too much, just Flare drop an airplane mode. Here we go. Alpha 2, scan Avian 4490. Nordic 424, taxi goal, sun, November, 2 holding point, runway 01 left. Nordic 
Airspeed is alive, there's 100 knots. Nordic 3, Manager 0, left turn on 210 and the mic, holding point 0 on left, Alpha 3, available. Hello, Mike, and uh, V1, rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Alright, Oslo. Just rotate it along left, cleared for takeoff. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Take -off, get out there, <laughs> full that is a screenshot. I, 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 I gotta fly this plane. Right turn. Get that nose pointed up about 15 degrees or so. Throttle back to lever climb. That's that to the deep side. Behind the departing company AC20, line up the way, travel signal on left behind. Behind the departing uh, company AC20, line up the way, behind. Passing 3,800 for, uh, you said 310 of uh, Scandinavian 16. Negative, climb flight level 2, bomb set up, and proceed now direct to Hook Stump. Copy, uh, up to 210, and we'll go direct to what way point? Hook Stump, Oscar Kilo, Sierra Alpha Tango. Copy, direct to Hook Stump, uh, Scandinavian 16. Hey, out of pause, come on. Uksa, 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 where is Uksa? Uh, sort of need you on an on to Uksa, Uksa, would you like Direct. three bombs in or three, three, zero, five bombs? Uksa, Uksa. We can do three, one, zero. Alright, there it is. Direct Uksa, Uksa flaps up. Thank you. Altitude, 21,000. And selected. Altitude managed. VNAV is working. We up, baby. Let's go outside. Yes, this is on Xbox Series X and S. Expect R and R zero one left and uh, defend minus zero three speed uh, and uh, confirm direct to engine for noise fighter. Nice, nice. Alright, uh, transition altitude out here in Scandinavia or in Norway. Sorry. Is 7,000. So we'll go here. And hit that on standard. And hit that on standard. And I'll bring the sound down just a little bit, something to yell over it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the takeoff sounds. So he's cleared us at 21,000 feet for now. Uh, we're expecting to cruise at 37,000 feet. Two one decimal five five Scandinavian one six. Two one five five. Scandinavian four four nine zero. Who's he directing? Kigli Golf India Golf November India. Direct Kigli Scandinavian four four nine zero. Alright, over to two one five five zero. Scandinavian two two one runway two one clear to land. And the wind is uh, one mile zero degrees. What's up, Nordic? Nordic five, Luca. Clear to land, Scandinavian two. 
Controls Scandinavian 116 passing uh, flight level 130 for 210. Scandinavian 116 Polaris, expanded flight level 310, direct Kalin. Up to 310, direct uh, Kalin. Scandinavian 116, wherever the heck that is. This is my struggle. Oh, there it is, Kalin. My struggle of flying in Europe or other countries is understanding the accent. There's Kellen, insert, and direct. He gave us some really nice shortcuts today. Very nice shortcuts. And up to 31,000 feet now, he gave us. Alright, cool. Right, we are above 10,000 feet. We'll turn the lights off. Climb to 5,000 feet and squawk 622. Two, Everything four. else will say the same. Atlantis, 7 Bravo departure, runway 21, and the short And there we go. We up, baby. What's up, Henry? Welcome to the stream. Uh, does this teach you how to fly a real plane? In some ways, yes. In some ways, yes. Uh, what you're seeing here is an exact replica of what you would see in a real a320 so yes you could learn how to operate all of the instruments all the buttons and know where all where they all are because in the sim they are exactly where they are supposed to be in real life uh, the only difference from learning how to like learn this stuff in the simulator versus real life is the real life part the actual flying part the physics part the G's the feeling of the plane all that stuff like that the stuff you cannot learn in the sim you can only learn it in real life so learning how to fly actively how to fly that happens in real life but learning the systems and the instruments all that you can do in the sim and trust me if you do that it'll save you a lot of time in your flight training and a lot of um a lot of instructor time you don't have to worry about look at that with the sunset off of the right wing reflecting off of the wing just right i like it i like it a lot what's up luca greetings from italy welcome to the stream hope you're doing well hope you're doing real good Nordic 9, Charlie Quebec. How long have I been playing this? It must have taken a while to get everything down. I've been playing this for years, man. Like, more than 10 years I've been playing flight sims in general. And I've learned over the years, little by little, from YouTube tutorials, other live streamers. Um, uh, I don't read manuals often, but if I'm ever given like a, a early access aircraft, and I don't know how to fly it, and there's no tutorials for it, that's really my only option, is uh, to go through the, to, uh, the manual that comes with the plane pretty often. And yes, it is frozen. I hope it comes back. Please don't crash on me. This happened yesterday. Don't happen again. Right, go back. Go back to me, Microsoft Flight Sim. Go back to me. Please don't crash. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Come on, this looks so good. I like this screenshot. Okay, cool. We're still going. We're still going. Uh, but yeah, it takes a while, man. I'm saying what I tell people when they when they start flight simming today is you know find out what you're interested in. Pick an aircraft, right? Pick an aircraft that you like a lot. So say, say for example, you like an A320 or you want to fly this plane we're in today. Well, go and first of all, get the plane, get the sim. Uh, there's free versions. So this plane is not free. This is a payware aircraft that's been added to Microsoft Flight Sim. But you could uh, use the default A320. Matter of fact, I would recommend that first uh, if you don't know anything. So that way it's much easier to get started. Uh, it has all the buttons you need and nothing extra. I think a little blurry. Yeah, it has all the buttons you need and nothing extra. Uh, and once you learn that, you learn how to kind of get the aircraft started, how to get in the air, how to land it, um, you know, some of the procedural stuff. What up? Thank you, Ja Bongo Fed, for being a gold member on YouTube. Really, really thank you, man. Appreciate you so much for that continued support. You've been here forever, bro. So thank you, man, so much. Um, uh, Richard said you just went through that wormhole. It is, man. It's a wormhole. It's a rabbit hole. Um, learning all this stuff but it's fun it is it, it's very satisfying when you get it and you understand it can be frustrating in you know learning the autopilot learning um you know when to land you know some of the common questions that a lot of us don't just know um but once you get it once you get a full flight in and with atc that's a whole other layer <laughs> right uh then it's very satisfying to, to get from a to b without any hiccups or issues so um 
but yeah, I've been doing it for a long time. I, I personally, like I said, I learned from YouTube tutorials, from watching other live streamers. When I before I was live streaming, I was watching other people live stream um, and how they do things. Um, again, you know, learning documentation from here and there, and then just over time, just you're gonna have to do it over and over because a lot of this Canada stuff. One, one, six, no further God, but that over to 2.8. Thank for the ATC. Have a great night. It's gonna be one one six. Um, and so yeah, just you gotta do it over. It's repetition as well. Do it over and over, and you'll get it. Like for me now, after all these years of flight simming, the two most common airliners that I have personally flown is the seven three seven and the A three twenty. So I could I, I I feel confident that I could hop into the A three twenty or seven three seven on any simulator and fly it. Right, get it going, get it started, get it in the air, get it handled, the FMS, MCDU, the controls, units, everything. Um, but if I have, if, I, if you put me in an MD-80 or an MD-11 or a CRJ after forever, like I don't remember how to fly those because I don't fly those as often. So it just comes repetition over and over and over. You'll get it. It'll be easy. Uh, if you buy the PMDG, please read the manual. These are also great videos and Facebook pages for support. Yes, Cliff. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, bro. Uh, can you see the outside of this one? Absolutely, Wesley. Thanks you for reminding me. All right, before we go outside, let's just make sure everything's good. So we're passing 26,000 feet. ATC uh, basically has cleared us to our cruise level of 31, 37, 37,000. So the aircraft on autopilot is going to take us all the way to 37,000 feet uh, and continue. Oh, look at that. So, wow, this is going to be short. This is our top of climb, this arrow right here, that blue arrow. That's where we're going to get to 37,000. This is our top of descent, the arrow pointing down. That's when we're going to descend. So, that's how long our cruise is. So, very, very short flight. So, do not get me too distracted today because uh, we will miss that. Anyways, outside we go. Uh, would I feel comfortable flying an Emirates plane? Uh, it depends which plane. If it's an Emirates A320, yes. 737, yes. Um, A350? Do they have a 350? I can't remember. Um, I don't know. The, the planes I'm most comfortable with are 737s, A320s. Uh, as of lately, I can fly the CRJ. Uh, the ERJ. I haven't flown it in a while, so I just got to go in and get re-familiarized with the cockpit and how the autopilot works. Uh, the 787, I've been flying that a lot lately, so I can just hop in and go with that one. The 777, I haven't flown that in a very long time, so I'm going to do a little bit of research on that one before I go flying in that bird when we get it. Um, A330, I can probably mess with. It's pretty close to the 320 and this is the reason why i think the 320 is a perfect kind of like not starter per se but a perfect plane to kind of learn first because you can go from a 320 to the 330 pretty easily and even the same thing with the 340 and the 380 yeah, 380 is pretty different but similar to logic and here we are climbing out so it's a nice beautiful day actually in in oslo norway but uh just south of us which is where we are now. We're heading southbound right now. Uh, you'll notice that we have a lot of clouds because there is some rain, some storms happening. And again, all this is real time, real weather, real everything. Um, max realism, max immersion. <laughs> but uh, I think we're crossing over into Sweden, right? Is it Sweden? Yeah, Sweden right now. And take a look at our, I can actually show you guys a map if you're watching on YouTube here of uh, where we are exactly we'll bring up Volanta is that gonna work there it is uh, so this is the, v the Volanta map this is one of the apps we use on Microsoft Flight Sim X plane all the flight sims use this map to track your flights you can have your flight log here everything it even shows you where the ATC is so right now we are right here and above this nasty rain storm uh, but yeah, so we're in. We took off out of Norway. I think this. Yeah, is this Sweden? Yeah, this is Sweden. And we're going down here to Copenhagen, right there. So that's where we are. That's where we're going. Got a lot of weather in the area. I think the weather should be not too bad when we get to Copenhagen. 
I think it'd be all right. So that's where we're going, and that's where we're at. We'll turn that down. Uh, Mr. Santa Claus, welcome to the stream. You're in the air right now, sweet man. Uh, what's up? Uh, is the add-on good? You were in Oslo not long ago, and it would be nice with a good representation of it in Microsoft. Yes, I think honestly, if I had to rate that scenery, I would give it like an eight, and that's high. Okay, maybe a nine. Let's give it a nine. We'll be generous. It was a nine. So yeah, definitely very well done. Um, now the only question that I have for you guys would be performance. I have a pretty beast of a computer, so I don't really see a lot of stutters anymore, even on, you know, like JFK, LA, places like that. So it might be a bit heavy on frames because of how detailed the airport is. So I will keep that in mind if you're on a lower end machine, all right? How much time we got left? Let's see. We have... That can't be right. It says we have 25 minutes remaining. That's like no time. So I, maybe it's right, I guess. I guess. Anyways, I wanted to talk I wanted to talk about something. Um, uh, Zach Hamilton, am I planning to check out LGA? Yes. Uh, this week, no. We have plans this week already. Someone also asked earlier about the Pilatus PC-12 from SWS. I do have that plane, I love that plane, and I want to do a live stream with that plane. I just have not been able to get it into the schedule, uh, sadly because yesterday, if you guys were trying to watch yesterday, again my stream crashed, Microsoft Flight Sim crashed, and I was already having a lot of crashing issues with my computer, and so sadly I had to reschedule that stream for today because I did not have time to start and complete that stream yesterday. So we're doing it, we're redoing it today, and now we're here. Um, and because of that, that set me back a day, and the rest of my week is still already kind of planned out. So I said that we were going to do a Pilot's Life a Virtual Airline Career live stream, uh, and I was supposed to be today, but now that is going to be Friday. So we're going to move our DCS World Friday stream to next week. So sorry for all those who are looking forward to flying DCS. Uh, that will not be until next week. Uh, we'll be doing Microsoft Flight Sim on Friday, and that'll be in Australia. So that'll be fun. Anyways, tomorrow we'll be doing Train Simulator, Train Sim World, driving in Austria. So that's going to be fun as well. So stay tuned for that. So on that note, uh, really quickly, because we don't have a lot of time in our cruise today, Somebody in chat made me aware that apparently the FAA has grounded Alaska Airlines. And by grounded, that means that they're not allowed to fly. Like, no more flights with Alaska are going up until the FAA approves. And so let me read this that I found on Google. I don't know if this is completely tree true. So I would say, don't just take my word for it. Go look it up yourself. So this is what it says. It says, the Federal Aviation Administration on Wednesday, that's today, issued a ground stop advisory for Alaska Airlines, saying all Alaska mainline and subcarrier flights ground stopped. The advisory said that the flights for SkyWest, which provides regional services for Alaska and others, were excluded. While FAA advisory did not provide a reason for the ground stop, the airline pointed to an IT issue. The, this morning we experienced an issue while providing, while performing an upgrade to the system that calculates our weight and balance. A ground stop for all Alaska and Horizon flights was instituted approximately at 7.50 a.m. Pacific time. Alaska Airlines said in a statement, we're working to resolve the issue as quickly as possible. We apologize for the inconvenience and encourage guests to check the status of their flights on alaskaair.com for Alaska app prior to heading to the airport. That freaking sucks. Wow. And now it's been lifted? What? How late am I? Gosh. Wait, FA ground. Yeah, 41 minutes ago. <laughs> God, this is why this is why this is not a news channel. Cause I ain't about this life. Right, let's see how we're looking. Uh oh. 
Are we good? Are we good, guys? Are we still live? We still live? Because uh, I just lost TikTok. Just lost TikTok. Let me know, chat, if we're still live on YouTube and other platforms like Twitch. Yeah, we're still live. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess sadly TikTok lost us. Um, it's giving me a countdown saying, "What is this? We have did we have what? That's weird." That was really weird that it like froze up like that. There's people here watching, <laughs> and it was like, "Yeah, we're gonna close your stream." It said I was inactive or something. That's weird. I've never seen it before. Anyways, we're back live on TikTok and we're live on YouTube, so it looks like YouTube's more reliable. So yes, you guys are right. Uh, as of 41 minutes ago, apparently, whatever the issue was has been fixed, and now uh, Alaska Airlines flights are now continuing. So yeah, this is why I don't do news on this channel, because it changes so fast. You have to be like, as soon as the news comes out, you got to drop a video about it. You got to know everything about it. You gotta do like you gotta do dick like yeah. I've I've never committed my channel to being a news channel. Sometimes you may see me like you know bring up like hey this new thing is happening. We'll react. I don't mind reacting to news, um, but trying to follow it with news it's just it's that's a that's a that's a grind. I'll tell you this though, if you are considering starting a YouTube channel, um, or any kind of like content creation, news is actually a very good way to grow your channel. All right, let's go ahead and lower our altitude because we got to descend here in like a few minutes uh, because it's just the way the algorithm works and all that stuff like that. Like if you're doing news, um, you'll see a, f a decent amount of growth pretty quickly for a small channel. You got to be consistent, obviously, but it's also again, it's, it's a grind. And if you start with news, you are expected to continue with news. So even when your channel gets bigger and you can start doing other things, like the people that, that came to your channel for the news and updates are still there. And they're still expecting you to come out with videos covering the hot topics or the news. So, you know, it's, it's kind of how it is with um, any type of content creation. Once you create a name for yourself doing a certain thing, you are now expected to continue doing that thing or else people will stop watching. So it's just kind of how it is. Kind of how it is. Anyways, 4,000 feet selected there. And, confirm inbound waypoint and our top of the sink coming up in about 20 miles. So a nice uh, short cruise. Everything's looking pretty good yeah. up here. So far. Uh, Chris, great question. Uh, do you somewhat have a stream schedule? Or is it just whenever you're available? You want to know if specifically there will be a stream this Saturday. Uh, I do not have plans to stream this Saturday. Um, my current schedule is mainly Thursday and Friday at, I think it's 1600 UTC, which is like noon Eastern time in America. That's my like, those are the, the days I tried to commit to the best that I can. Um, like today is a Wednesday, so we're not on that schedule, right? Um, but I don't stream on weekends. It's very rare that I stream on the weekend. Look at that rain behind us. That's a rain shaft right there. I don't often stream on the weekend, so you can pretty much count on me not being live on the weekend. Uh, but between Tuesday and Friday, you might catch me around noontime. Um, but again, it's more Thursday and Friday than anything else. Leo, what's up, bro? I'm just now seeing your comment. Uh, yeah, so Alaska requested a ground, a grounding from FAA due to issues with the software. Thank you, man. Appreciate it so much. We just found out now that that has now been lifted. So Alaska flights are now continuing, which is good. Is YouTube, I mean, not YouTube, is TikTok off again? No, it's back. All right, cool. It's back. What did I miss, guys? What's up, Richie? We still here? Lightspeed, Jose, Tech, MIT, Zilly, Vids, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Uh, next Thursday, I should be I should be live. Yep, yeah, we should be streaming next Thursday. 
Uh, tech, your sim just crashed mid-flight. Time to restart the AV. <laughs> I know, man. I feel you, bro. I feel you. Am I ready for Active Sky for Microsoft Flight Sim? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I saw that they had a, a news update about it coming or whatever, but I haven't looked too much into it. Um, I don't really have high hopes for Active Sky and uh, Microsoft. I, I need to look into it though. I'm curious what they're doing. I am. Um, I used Active Sky on X Plane and I loved it. But that, that was an X Plane 11. So listen, now. <laughs> This, this, let me be clear. So this is the only reason I would personally use Active Sky. If Active Sky has found a way to do all the Active Sky stuff, but make it so your weather doesn't reload every, like, was it 15, 10 minutes. So, for example, right now, we're in Microsoft Flight Sim with using default weather and with the default weather if you look behind us you see how like it's kind of like much more clouds like it's basically overcast behind me but where i am right now is kind of broken partly cloudy got a lot of splotches stuff like that that's realistic here it's partly cloudy over there it's overcast if i make a left turn and go over there it's gonna be overcast and over here it's now gonna be partly cloudy now the way a lot of the weather add-ons work is that it'll find an airport or a weather station nearby and it'll be like, all right, so here it's partly cloudy. That's what the weather says in the METAR, in the weather radar. And so what the sim end up doing is that it then makes all of the sky around you partly cloudy, all the way to the horizon. Like the whole world is now partly cloudy. Now, if I fly over a new weather station and now it's overcast because in that last spot it was partly cloudy, in the new spot it's overcast. So now that I'm flying over the overcast weather station, now it tells the sim it's overcast. So now guess what? The entire world is now overcast from here all the way to the horizon. I hate that. Oh, I hate that so much. And every sim did it that way. And the good thing is that they'll transition, right? You're like, all right, it's overcast, it's partly cloudy, so you'll slowly see the clouds transitioning from overcast to partly cloudy. But the problem is I can't fly there. I can't fly around a storm. The storm is always with me. So I don't know if Active Sky has figured out how to do that. If they figured out how to do this more accurately, I'm all for it. But if they're just changing the weather every time I get to a different weather station, then I'm not for that anymore. I'm not, I don't do that no more. X Plane has gotten out of that. Um, X Plane 12 now has a similar system to Microsoft Flight Sim where the weather is actually three dimensional. So here it could be clear skies, 100 miles that way it could be overcast. And if I fly there, I'll, you know, you'll see the differences. Yeah, does that make sense? So again, I'm not saying that that's how Active Sky works now, but that is how it worked in the previous versions in X Plane and P3D and FSX. That is how Active Sky works. Now, here's the thing. The reason why we loved Active Sky is because it was accurate. If the, if the, if the airport says it's, it's raining, the airport is raining, right? If it's hard rain, if it's light rain, if it's snow, uh, Active Sky was very accurate and it actually being what it is in real life versus like Microsoft right now is about an hour behind. The weather we're seeing right now is about an hour, maybe two hours behind. If I was using Active Sky, I'll be seeing the right, like up to the hour, maybe up to the 30 minutes um, weather. But again, to me, it depends. If they set it up where it's three dimensional, where, all right, it's, it's partly cloudy here. Okay, cool. It is actually partly cloudy here and it actually shows in the distance there's overcast and I can fly to that and it doesn't change. That's, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm all about. That's what I'm all about. So we'll see. Um, I believe Active Sky can figure it out. I have faith in them. They've done a great job in the past, but I just hope they do it right. Yes, Kerm, I'm on TikTok too, man. You can't get away from me, bro. You can't get away from me. <laughs> uh, is the traffic control AI? No, this is a real person. Uh, the voices you hear in the background are real Norwegians. <laughs> These are real people, man. Real people.
But uh, guys, we are descending now into oh, Copenhagen. Eight, eight, uh, Very slowly, but we are descending. And we're expecting runaway, I think it was 04, right? Let's go ahead and put in our destination data. And uh, we, can, we can chat a little bit more before we descend, but uh, let's first just make sure we got our info right. So we'll look on the EFB here on the left on our iPad. How are we doing on time? Oh, time is looking good. Go to Phoenix. Uh, actually, no, that's not what I want. I want this one. Yeah. And we'll take a look. We can see that our arrival airport is EKCH. And winds are 010 at 4. Overcast, 7800. The temperature is 9. Dew point is minus 4. And the QNH is 1009. So let's go into our MCDU. And we will do just that. I'll do it on the right side screen. We'll go to uh, next phase. Approach. We'll clear out that message. And type in 1009. Drop that under QNH. The temperature was 9 Celsius. And the winds were 0104. You know, honestly, in my pilot's life career series we've been doing, I've been considering going to fly with Scandinavian. Like, I really like flying in this area, like up here. This is a part of Europe that, like, I really haven't got to explore that much, and I want to know more about it. I want to fly out here more often, and the Pilot's Life series kind of gives me a reason uh, to spend more time in certain places. That's why I really liked flying in uh, Mexico and really enjoying right now flying in Australia. Polaris Control, Nordic 5241, inbound, uh, Tequa, descending to uh, 288. Make sure this is in here, right? EQCH, 04 left. Are we even on an arrival? Did I put an arrival in? We have Echo and request the uh, RMP Echo if you want to write. Like, yeah, uh, it's in there. Okay. Yep, yep, it is Christian. Very nice tablet. <laughs> Very nice tablet. Oh, good question, Chris. Uh, random question. After I heard the weather in that area, given you live near Texas, actually, I live in Texas, uh, you say you deal with a lot of heat. Uh, do you think you prefer cold and fresh or warm and hot? Mm, that's a good question, actually. Yeah, because that heat is, yeah. Uh, that's a tough question, because... Living in Texas in the summer, I pretty much avoid the sun <laughs> all summer. Like, I mean, we go outside and do stuff, right? But like, we we try to be out there as little as possible. Um, I'm usually, you know, indoors in the AC most of the time. Um, if it's super hot, you know, we just don't go. <laughs> like, oh, there's a there's a there's a you know a carnival thing happening. Like, bro, it's too hot for that. I ain't going to a carnival. Um, so, but cold? I don't know, man. It's been... I don't know. I, this is this is the only life I know. <laughs> the hot, humid life here in Texas. I don't know that I can handle the cold. Um, I, I, I want to say yes, because in the cold, you could always put more layers on. You could always have more insulation, but you can never take enough clothes off for the heat. So, um, And I sweat very easily in the humidity. So I don't know, man. I, that, that's a good question. I do like the winter, though. I do. I've always wanted to like go somewhere that's snowy in the winter. It was hot, Kenny. It was hot last summer. What up, Jose? Kiwi Vlog, welcome back to the stream. Uh, Z Lively is flying for JetBlue right now. Sweet! Uh, why oh it's a yq2 spotter says i live in canada and i 100 percent prefer the cooler weather <laughs> nice i, I kind of think i would i think i would prefer the cooler weather 
Like I said, I can always put more jackets on, more insulation. I can get comfortable in cold weather. When I worked at the airport, I worked in all all conditions. And actually, when I worked at the airport, I didn't only work at Texas. I uh, I was able to do what they called um. Dang, what do they call it when you go to the places? It was I was able to go uh, work in Long Island. Was it no Rhode Island? I worked in Rhode Island. I worked somewhere in Wisconsin um, for like a, a, a couple weeks in the winter in the snow. So um, and I was just fine. I just you know I just needed my extra layer of jacket, some insulation, whatnot, and I was fine. I liked it. So I think I think cold weather. I go with cold weather. What's up, man? We're flying to Copenhagen right now. Yeah, we're descending as we speak, so we should be there in probably about, I don't know, 10 minutes. Flying with Scandinavian Airlines. You can see there's a little bit of clouds out there, but it's not too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. We are expecting the ILS. Let's make sure that's set up. We'll go to RADNAV. Uh, 110.5, is that what I'm expecting for ILS 04 left? Yep, 110.5. Nice. Uh, oh yeah, decision height is... What are the minimums here? 106? 117. Go to perf. No, yeah, next phase. And 117 under barrow. 117. That's gonna drop right there, that's good. Alright, we'll leave that up. Alright, we almost there, passing 16,000 feet now in our descent. <laughs> Dante says, as a Mississippian, I didn't know that was how you, what you call you guys. I didn't know that's what you call yourselves. Uh, you say, give me heat, you hate the snow. <laughs> What's up, SM Rail? Welcome to the stream. Dang, that sucks, Patriot Angel. Oh, sad to hear that. You were going for your pilot license, and on your last physical found out you have heart problems. Dang, man. I am really sorry to hear that. Really sorry to hear that. I will say, man, if you don't, if you haven't already, uh, Flight Sim is a good avenue um, to kind of like, uh, you know, enjoy aviation and the aviation hobby if you can't fly in real life. So, really sad to hear that. Um, I don't want to say, hey, just, just go flight sim, whatever. Like, no, that's a big deal. I understand. I have the same ambitions as you. I also want to get my pilot license. I have not gotten my physical. <laughs> so, I don't know. I might have heart problems, too. I, yeah, I don't know. I hope not. But um, I need to go get a physical before something does happen, <laughs> right? Uh, that's actually a good way. You could do airport elevation plus 200. That's one way. But also on the chart, uh, and I don't have the chart up on screen right now, but if you look at the approach chart, usually uh, either on the top, in the top boxes, or on the bottom boxes somewhere, you'll see uh, it says DA and then like H or RA and then a number, and uh, that's going to be your minimums. There it is, guys. Look down below. What is that place? Where are we right now? That is... So we're technically still in Sweden. So the land you see below us is Sweden. But on the right side, that is Denmark. So that's the border right there. You can see a few uh, wind fans, a wind farm down there. Very nice. There was an update uh, to this area for Microsoft Flights. I think they called it the Nordic World Update, where they went and they upgraded all of the scenery in this entire region, made it look much better. Welcome back, Protector. Good to see you, man. How you been, bro? Welcome back. Welcome back. Joshua Atkins. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, Chris. I'm responding to both chats, so... <laughs> I did hear that they want to ban TikTok, and I'm not, I, no, I'm just no. I don't know what reasons they think TikTok is bad for Americans, but I say no. I, I was, I, I, I'm on TikTok every day now, 
ever since I started using it, um, just as a as a, a viewer. <laughs> and uh, there's there's so many good things that are happening on TikTok. Yes, there's like crazy trash on there too, but like it kind of depends on what you're watching. Uh, the algorithm, you know, if you like and watch a lot of crazy stuff, it's gonna keep giving you crazy stuff. Um, but I've learned a lot from TikTok. Like, there's a lot of educational stuff. That's not why I'm on there, but it's, you know, I learn a lot of random stuff on TikTok. So I don't want them to ban it. No, downrange. No, I don't want them to ban TikTok. <laughs> but it does make me glad that I'm not, like, just only creating content for TikTok, because that would be, that would suck. Like, if you're a content creator who only makes content for TikTok, you might want to start looking elsewhere uh, as a backup, just in case something happens to TikTok. I right, read 10,000 feet now. We'll get the land lights back on. And I, I am kind of curious though, how long is TikTok gonna last? Is it gonna be like long standing, like Instagram, where it's gone through a few different phases? Um, or is it gonna die off? Like, uh, what was that one social media platform we used to have? The green one. What was that called? The green one. You guys, the, the, I said the first. It's like the first short form social media platform. What was it called? Vi, vi, something with a V. Not Chive. No, not Chive. Vine. That's what it was. Vine. Oh my God. Is anybody in chat old enough to know what Vine is? <laughs> oh my God. Vine, bro. I couldn't believe Vine blew up like it did. And now it's gone. Like, I don't even know if, it is, if it's even up anymore. A lot of the, the creators from Vine ended up getting famous doing other stuff. And now they're on TikTok or, or other. Like, even like, I mean, I know people still use Snapchat, right? I know that there's people still using it, but I don't know anybody that uses, that uses Snapchat. Um, or at least I think they, I think they changed the audience. I think more of like the the younger kids are on Snapchat now. Like when Snapchat first came out, I got on board with it. I was like this is alright. This is kind of cool. It was more personal. Like you can only see like your close friends' Snapchat stuff like that. Um, but now I, I don't I don't even touch it anymore. Do it for the vine, exactly, man. Now it's do it for the gram. It is actually really nice out here, I gotta admit. So our airport is gonna be right in this... Oh, look, a rainbow! <laughs> what? That's cool. Uh, the airport is at our 11. This is 11 o'clock. Yes, we do landing replays around here. And we will... Uh, well, actually, we'll, we'll thank you for reminding me, because I need to get that app up. Uh, using flight control replay for our landing replay. Cool. Uh, I will start it a little later. I don't want to start it too early. But yeah, you can actually see. So, so th this is we were talking about weather add-ons earlier. And again, I'm not using any weather add-ons unless it gives me what I'm getting right now, but just better. You see how, like on our left, that's actual rain. There's actual precipitation off our left wing. And there's some over there too. So if I flew over there, which we might be, yeah, we're kind of going that direction. Um, we might get some a little bit of rain on the windshield. We might, we'll see. Yeah, I think all of this is rain. I think all of that is rain. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to Unicom. 22.8 and uh, we'll start making our radio calls because we are approaching the airport. Copenhagen traffic, Scandinavian 116 on a left downwind runway uh, 04 left, Scandinavian or uh, Copenhagen. Copenhagen, Copenhagen. Yeah, you can clearly see the rain there. I can't see the airport too good, but I know it's over there somewhere. You know, I'm gonna start recording the replay now. I just feel like this is a really nice, a nice little calm approach. It's not like anything, it's not a dangerous airport to fly into, nothing like that. It's just a nice, 
a nice wholesome approach. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright, A320, we're going into EKCH. And save. That might freeze for a second, but I think we're good. Yep, we're good. Alright, replay is recording. <laughs> right? People in Copenhagen are like Scandinavian. <laughs> Uh, what replay app do I use? It's called Flight Control Replay. It's available on the Sim Market. Um, it's my personal go-to replay system that I use. It usually works pretty good for me. I'm able, I'm able to record any aspect of my flight. I can record the entire flight, or I can record a piece of it. Wow, I actually didn't realize how detailed the Copenhagen city scenery was. Look down there. Copenhagen traffic, Scandinavia 926, lining up zero for right for takeoff. Look at that. Like, we actually have, like, that geo, that fancy geo whatever scenery here in Copenhagen. I've never flown here before. This is a first for me. Oh, look at that rain. Look at that. We're getting rain on the, win on the, on the window. That's <laughs> so cool. That's so cool. What is Copenhagen airspace? What is it? What do you mean? It's basically the space around the airport. I mean, you could say around about five miles in every direction. It's a good rule of thumb, I guess. All right, we're passing 6,000 now. Making our very slow descent. Should be nice and comfortable for our passengers. And we'll basically vector ourselves for final when we get down there. Geo, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? How are you doing, bro? Good to see you. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for stopping by, bro. If you guys are just joining us, we are in the Phoenix A320, about to land into Copenhagen, Denmark. Can't see much right now, <laughs> but uh, we'll see a little bit in a little while. Not getting any icing warning, so I think we're good there. And we're on a left downwind. I want to see out the window, though. So. Yeah, there it is. There's a little factory down there, a marina. Wow. This is a nice little area. Yeah, that's nice. I've never been to Copenhagen or Denmark in real life. Uh, never been there in a the simulator, so it's my first time for that. Our land lights are on. Checking that. That's all good. And let's see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and manually descend us. traffic, Scandinavian 926, passing 1,500 feet on a CMAC 8 Alpha departure. Down to about 1,600. So turn on vertical speed mode. Again, I'm using the mini FCU. And we'll manually do our speed as well. Yeah, we got a little bit of traffic out here in Scandinavia. In Scandinavia. I'm sorry, my Denmark people. In Copenhagen. A little bit of traffic in Copenhagen. I keep saying Scandinavian. Gosh. What even is Scandinavia? Is that a place? <laughs> it shows how much I know about this region. It shows how much I know. All right, give me some speed brakes. What even is this place? <laughs> Alright, let's turn the sound back up. You found me on Valanza? Yes, sir. We up here, baby. We up here. Alright, we're landing zero four left. Yes, so be straight in. After landing, we'll take any of the highest speeds. And then the Parking will be straight ahead. I don't know what gate we're taking. We'll just take whatever is available. We'll take whatever is available. All right, heading mode. Copenhagen traffic, Scandinavian 116 left base, 04 left. Copenhagen.
Alright, set our altimeters or our QH. Alright, that's good. And flaps. Alright, keep that turn coming. Alright, switch you guys over to the flight control cam. Again, uh, if you want to see the flight control cam, you're going to have to come over to YouTube. I do not have it working on TikTok yet. Alright, bring that speed back some more. Keep that turn coming. Beautiful. We are getting a little bit of rain here on approach. I think the airport should be dry, but a little bit of rain on approach. And we will uh, hit ILS. Yep, so we're 14 miles out. We're actually low. I should have descended for 3,000. And I went for 1,600, so. But there's nothing There's nothing below us, so just water will be fine. We'll just hang out here. We'll hold our speed at like 290. Yeah, it's too breaks up. My land is gonna be Casio approved. <laughs> Why? Why is it Casio approved? Speaking of that, bro, I'm so like, I don't know. I'm like, I don't even know him, but I'm. Oh shoot, we just flew through it. I don't know. I'm excited to see his like newfound fame. You know, just for him being him. I think it's hilarious, by the way. There's this one video I watched, I think I, they're talking about the same person. Uh, one video I watched, which it was a, a spinoff of an older, I think Vine or older uh, viral video. The Burger King song. Alright, auto brake set for medium. We are 11 miles out. I know he's saying I'm gonna slam the landing. I'm just saying. All right, uh, approach boat active. Runway is right here. It's gonna be a left runway. There's two runways. We're in the left one. We'll call when we get on. When we're on. Uh, we're established. We'll call. When we're established. We got two knots of flaps in there. We got a rainbow off our right wing. Hey man, this game is so beautiful sometimes. Nine miles out. Copenhagen traffic. Uh, Scandinavian 116 is nine miles out. Runway 04 left on the ILS. Copenhagen. Alright, we should not need spoilers again. I hope not. So we're going to go ground spoilers. Active. We'll go ahead and drop the gear early. There is a texture problem with this version of the Phoenix on this particular view that I'm getting. So that's why that landing gear looks so weird. Thank you so much, SM Rail, for being a gold member. Appreciate it so much. Alright, bring that speed back. Wow, 129. I hear somebody talking. I don't know what they're saying. Alright, we are five miles out. Add some more flaps. I'm not sure if anyone else is having this problem with the Phoenix, but for some reason my actual flap lever on the Thrustmaster uh, throttle is not like working with the Phoenix since the update. I don't know why. Alright, flaps are set to full. Auto brake is set. Alright, so landing gear is down and indicating three green. Passion signs are on. Flight's in the seats for landing. 
and the spoilers are armed, flaps are full, all green, no blue, hat three single, we're landing. Copenhagen traffic, uh, Scandinavian 1 6, short final, four right, four left. Copenhagen. Alright, send your predictions in now, guys. What do you think? What's going to be our landing rating? Can I get a One Whopper time. Jr. with onion rings? <laughs> I'm in the drive through at Burger King. Can I get a double Whopper with onion rings? Make it a meal so I can get a drink. No, I'm not finished. That's not everything. Get, get, get a double Whopper with no drink. <laughs> I love that song so much. It's been stuck in my head for weeks. Okay, anyways. Stereo cockpit, let's land a plane. Oh, we'll get a whopper when we land. Alright, I got clear view. Airbus 154. Contact with your way to the right via I pause off. Quebec, Foxtrot, Alpha, and Alpha 1. My controls. Airplane, the right is inactive. Zero 04 right into the departure of me. Well, too late for that. Uh, too late for that. Scan even one six is landing zero four left now. tell you what this plane just lands itself like I put little to no effort <laughs> into the controls to make that happen the cabin crew will shortly be leaving their seats to perform safety related duties however we ask that you remain seated until the fastened seatbelt sign has been switched off all right ladies and gentlemen welcome to Copenhagen Denmark Get our landing lights off, our flaps up, and our APU running. Thank you, SM. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but there was a debate going on over the radio. Uh, I didn't really catch all the details, but apparently there's a one of the one of the runways is like not used anymore in real life. Which one? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it was four left or two, two left. I can't. I don't know which one he said. But it's kind of like one of those things where like only the locals would know that. Oh, this runway is not being used for arrivals. Like I would never know that as a person from Texas. There's no no tam. There's no ATC on to tell me not to land there. So I land where I want. Thank you, SM. What do you think of the newest Root LIRR remake? Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll talk about that later, SM. Matter of fact, we'll talk about that tomorrow, alright? We're doing a train sim stream tomorrow, and I I wanna give it all the I wanna give it all the, the attention that it deserves. So since we're flying right now, I will save that question for tomorrow when we're doing a train sim stream. Coloring and traffic, this is air on the D4. I um, Alright, we're down. Uh, uh see flaps. Go flaps up. Unarmed nose. I will hold a feet for to land. There's another Scandinavian on his way out. It's like they're departing now on the other runway. So what you see here is a mixture of AI and real people. 
So we are on Vatsim multiplayer. So you'll see real people flying on Vatsim, which is only a few people in reality. And everything else is AI. Just to kind of give me a nice feel of like a busier port, which is realistic in my opinion. Um, and so that's why you see kind of a mixture. It's, it's sometimes it's kind of a mess. Um, I just I just choose to turn my head when those messes happen, <laughs> just for my own immersion. But uh, we're down, and I gotta say this is a beautiful airport as well. Uh, I know we're here to talk about Aerosoft's Oslo, which we took out of, which was gorgeous. But this little airport here in Copenhagen, which I cannot remember who it's by. I'm sorry to the developer. Uh, this is an Aerosoft supported <laughs> live stream so i have to remember them uh there's a lot of scenery that i, I go and i buy or i get and i just i don't really pay attention to who made it i was like this, this, this looks cool i'm getting it um let's see anybody crossing 12 or 30 i think there's only one copenhagen that exists i believe there's a freeware version too oh my god i have no brakes stop well you need to plane landing on your four left on one take of right all right we're crossing Copenhagen traffic, Scandinavian 116 is crossing runway 30. Copenhagen. Definitely a lot of talking happening on the radio here. If you bleed on. Are we not moving? No, no, it's not. Yeah, I get like like Chris said. Don't you don't have to apologize at all. It just. You caught me at a bad time. We just landed. A lot's going on, and I want to just kind of stay on the subject here. So sorry about that, man. You don't need to apologize. I play a lot of different games on my channel, and if you come in here and you have a question about any of those games, that is always welcome. I will always change the subject to talk about whatever it is that you are interested in. Just at some points, I just am not available to talk about it. All right, let's see. We have looks like Scandinavian parks over there. There's a spot right ahead of us. We'll take uh, the Bravo Terminal. Matter of fact, we'll take right here next to Iceland there. Uh, B-19. Let's see if we can get GSX to give us a spot at B-19. Bravo. Actually, we'll go on the other side. What's, what's the spot next to the left? Let's find out what that is. Let's find out what that is. Yes, Steve J, we are in the Airbus A320 today, man. We are in the Airbus A320 in a foreign country at sunset. How are we doing on time? I am really considering doing a second leg. What do you guys think about second leg? Should we should we do a return flight or should we just end it here? I freaking passed it. Uh, Bravo 8. Let's go Bravo 8. Why is that not on the list? Alright, give me 10. Uh, no follow me car. Uh, we'll take Copenhagen. No, we'll take Scandinavian. Alright, we're gonna go over there to the right. Oh, is this by Flight Tampa? Yeah, Flight Tampa always kills it. They do a great job every time. Yep, I see my marshaller down there. What is that thing? Oh, it's a stop sign. Alright, well, if we do a second leg, we gotta be quick. And if we do a second leg, we do not watch the replay. That's, that's the rule. If we do a second leg, we're not gonna watch the replay of this landing. So you guys decide in chat, should we continue for a second leg departing out of here? It'll be a sunset takeoff, possibly a night landing. Uh, and we'll watch the replay of the second leg. So let me know in chat. All right, taxi lights off whenever you are parking. Man, these push buttons are so annoying. Alright, let me get this set up. Can I get a Whopper Jr. with onion rings? 
Oh my god. Alright, that'll work. Alright, bring it in. Oh wait. Alright, now bring it in. All right. Break set. Shut them down. Let them up. APU's already on. And there goes engine number one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Copenhagen. Hope you enjoyed our flight today. It looks like chat wants to book a second flight. So let me go get that ready. You can hear the PTU, the AKA the barking dog. All right, pre-file, let's see, how do we do this? Uh, da, 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 da. Import that, nope, no, 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 no. All right, new flights. All right, it should ask me if I want to deboard. Yes, I do. And again, it's all automatic. As soon as I hit D board, uh, GSX, we should see GSX. Wait, is it a, is there a jet bridge here? Or is it that one over there? I guess it's that one. There's a Star Alliance ta uh, taxing out right there. It should, in theory, go ahead and D board us. The jet bridge should come up. All the equipment should come up. All right, so for our next leg, if you guys want to, you can go get you a drink, take a bathroom break, whatever, while we get this next one set up. Won't take long. I'll try to speed through the process here, but uh, I have to go into Sim Brief, which is where I do all my flight planning and create a new flight plan. So we are in Echo Kilo Charlie Hotel, and we're going to Echo November Golf Mike, and we are once again flying the Phoenix A320 with the IAE engines. Let's go outside. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love the way the sun hits it. Like, ay, ay, ay. Yeah, Bruh. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, good question, Kavak. When is the next career mode flight? That's going to be on Friday. So Friday, I'm going to be doing a live stream of my next career flight with Qantas. So come back by Friday for that. Same time as today, but on Friday. Are they gonna deboard us? What's going on? Are people getting off? Or are they waiting? Oh, they're probably waiting for me to turn my beacon off. That's what it is. I forgot about that. Yep, there it is, now it's starting. All right, so if you bleeds on, we have external power. I mean, we could turn it on, but we don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. Seatbelt signs off. All right, now they can start deboarding. I completely forgot to do all that. Oh, yep, there it is. There's a jet bridge coming up. A very nice looking jet bridge too. Okay, let's get this next flight started and ready. So we're going to do a bit of a quick turnaround. We'll get the baggage offloaded, get the new passengers and baggage onloaded. So enjoy the uh, boarding process while I get my flight plan set up.
And there are people actually walking through Jet Bridge. <laughs> sort of. Yeah, I like that angle right there. What's up, crew dog? Welcome to the stream. Uh, basically, every live stream I do, uh, as soon as I'm done streaming, it's now a video. So instantly, it becomes a video. So you can view it anytime you want, or not view it, up to you, whatever. All right, so yes, so next flight. Currently, we're in Copenhagen, and we're gonna do a return leg. So I'm on Sim Brief. You can't see this on your screen right now. I'm just talking through what I'm doing. Um, I think this is more interesting than what I'm actually looking at, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I am going to save that replay in case we decide to watch it later. So call sign will be Scandinavian 116 again. Uh, I want that in kilos. And cool, I right, generate that flight. Alright, what was our landing rating at least? Our landing rating for that last leg. Oh, we have ATC now. <laughs> nice. Uh, 205. So I'll take it. I'm, I'm okay with that. 205 for the landing rating for that last flight. Now we have a benchmark to beat for the second leg. That's how it works. Second leg, you always have to outdo your first leg. So I'm going to get off of... That sim just for a minute while I pre foul my flight plan for the network. Uh, Will Chamber, did they update the game or is it just different on PC? Yes, it's just different on PC. It's the same game. Um, yeah, it's the same thing. It's just a slightly different. Oh, I, I mean, it's the plane. If you're on Xbox, then sadly you don't have this plane. This plane is not available on Xbox. Um, and this plane is very high, has very high detail on the exterior and interior. So it could be just a plane. Because I think Xbox looks pretty darn good too. I actually have Microsoft on my Xbox. I don't play it on Xbox like ever, but I tried it a while back and I was like, hey, this looks pretty good. Better than I expected. Much better than I expected. Yes, also you don't get GSX service on Xbox either, so that's the benefit. Um, that's the benefit of, of being on PC. You get a few different mods and add-ons that you don't get on Xbox, sadly. Alright, so for our return flight, we're expecting an air time of 53 minutes, block time of hour 21, cruising at 36,000 feet. The uh, flight plan we're expecting to get approved for to Oslo is going to be the VETA 4 Alpha, VETA Transition, and then as filed. So, um, we still got a, a bit of a ways before they finish like offboarding the aircraft and reboarding the aircraft. We can still get our IFR clearance for the next flight. So let's go down here to our MCDU. As you can see, it's already reset itself. We'll go to Atsu. Wait a second, go to AOC menu. And then we'll go to flight initialization and then we'll import our next flight. We should see these swap. Yep, there it is. E-K-C-H to E-N-G-M. Yes, sir. Go to init and we'll do init request. No need to realign the INS because uh, we have not restarted the sim or anything like that. That's the reason why I don't do uh, like a fresh code and dark start um, or the reason why I don't do replays when I do multi-leg flights because for one, there's a risk of it crashing <laughs> uh, after watching the replay and then two, you got to reset up everything from scratch again rather than a turnaround state. So 360, we're gonna drop that in here. That's not it. Three, six. Oh my God. Three, 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 six, zero. That's a point. Okay. Zero, thank you. Beautiful. Cost index is five. That's cinco in Spanish. Flight number, just something I made up. Let's we'll put SCS116 for return. I believe this is a real world flight as well. They have to get here somehow, right? I just don't know the flight number for the real world flight. 
drop that right there. We good. So now we gotta wait for our final numbers. We're a ways from that. And we'll also wait to get our clearance. So on that note, our clearance is gonna be with, um, let me reconnect the vet sim now. Wait, really? I didn't know you could do that in uh, in Xbox. So Chris is saying that the PNDG on Xbox, you can pre-plan your pushback position. That's pretty sweet. Can you do that on PC? I know that it has its own built-in pushback function. I, just, I don't remember if it had a pre-plan function. That's pretty cool. That's good. That's good to see. All right, let's go get the... Uh, oh, I forgot about the ATIS too. One, two, two, eight, five. Let's go grab that. Zero kilometers or more, ceiling 7,800 overcast, temperature minor, dew point minus da, three, da, da, da. Max first happen. first contact with apron <laughs> control advise it's unable oh to perform customized pushback, intersection burn to BFO. Thank you, crew dog, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I've been enjoying it too, I'm glad you're liking it. Advise on initial contact, you have information, alpha. I have information alpha, but I wasn't listening, so we gotta hear it again. This is Copenhagen departure information alpha at 1720 Zulu special. Runway in use for takeoff 04 right. When 360 at 6. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Ceiling 7800 overcast. Temperature minor. Dew point minus 3. QNH 1010. At first contact with apron control advise it unable to perform customized pushback. Intersection burn to BFOUR available. This was Copenhagen departure information alpha. Advise on initial contact. You have information. Alpha. Alright, we have information alpha. So approach is on a weird frequency. 119805. That's weird. That's really weird. Alright, let's call for a clearance. We get that out of the way. Let's hear his accent. You are identified. Decent flight level 80. Downtown ratio knows correction. Scanning on 2534. Copenhagen, Scandinavian 116, IFR to Oslo at stand B10. 116, information Alpha, current job clear to Oslo, radar for Alpha departure, 0 for right, the squawk, uh, 4, 5, 0, 6. Jesus Christ. Alright, so, uh, clear to Oslo, via the Vida for Alpha departure, runway 0, 4, right, and 4, 5, 0, 6, Scandinavian 116. That was freaking fast. 116, read back, like, call for push. I can't believe I, I can't believe I caught all that. Did you see? He talks so freaking fast. Oh, man. Like, my brain was like, huh? What did he say? What now? <laughs> Ooh, okay. How are we doing on the Red nose two zero seven five right by ten degrees descent three thousand. I love his accent though. Like that's pretty dope. <laughs> uh, when are we gonna get back into F one streams? Good question. I don't have an answer for that. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Are we done deboarding? Can we board now? I'm loading my next flight. All right, we depart in 20 minutes. Uh, we're gonna do. We'll just do fast time, guys, so we can get out of here quick, right? Or should we just do instant? Let's just do instant. Let's get out of here. Let's do instant. Our aircraft's loaded. All right, cool. So we won't use GSX for that at all. And we'll go ahead and send us to the MCU. Okay, uh, Since we're trying to do a quick turnaround, I want to keep you guys waiting for too long. Um, so EKCH, he gave us exactly what we were asking for. Uh, zero 04 right for departure. The departure is the VETA for Alpha. There it is. And we'll hit insert on that. And then we'll scroll down here. That all looks good. It looks great. 
All right, there's our discount annuity. We'll click on our arrival ENGM, and we could do this at any point. We could do this later if we want it. I like to do it on the ground because I get distracted and I forget. Uh, zero one left ILS, and our star, our arrival is the Looney for Lima. There it is, Looney for Lima, and no transition on that one. All right, cool. And that is all in there. Sweet, we'll leave that as is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, Chris. He reminded me of like Mexican speaking in Spanish. Like, I can never keep up. Um, but that was quick. I was like, is that English? <laughs> uh, but all right, we're good on that. Let's go back to our init page and we'll get our uh, final numbers. Actually, they're already in there. Glock fuel 6.2, so a little bit more fuel this time than our last flight. Uh, I'll go up to perf page and we'll go and uh, get that imported as well. So we'll go up to here. We'll grab our departure information. It is a nice, it's a fairly wet runway, but it's dry. We'll put wet, we'll put wet runway. Zero four right, um, flap convict be one plus F again. We're, we're at sea level here. Packs on and we'll sink the load sheet like that. And we'll hit calculate. All right, it sends MCDU. That all looks good to me. There's our new V speeds. Our trim, our flaps, our clean, 198. Put that in the next phase for our climb pre selected speed with 198 knots. Drop that right there. And now we are all good. I'll put flight plan on my left screen and I'll put my perf data on the right screen. We are basically done. APU is already running. We can go ahead and disconnect the external power and turn the beacon light on. And now GSX is like, all right, you want to push? All right, I got you. So they're going to get out of here. The jet bridge should move away in just a little bit. <laughs> to be fair, your dad is from Mexico, and even then he gets confused and can't pick up the Spanish from, like, Mexico City. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Uh, what did he did he give us an altitude? Uh, let's put our new squat code in. Wait, he gave us the squat code I was already using. Uh oh. No, he he couldn't have. He couldn't have given me. Did I? I know I wrote it down. I don't think I wrote it down. Either I did and I deleted it. I think I deleted it. Oh no, that's not good. Crap, I don't even remember now. Did he give me a squad code? I know he said 0 4 right. I'm about to ask him again. Let me ask him again. Uh, Copenhagen, Scandinavian 116, uh, can you repeat what our squat code was? Uh, the squat is 4506. Okay, thank you. Let's make sure. All right, so it, it is what we already were using. So he basically gave us the same code we used last flight. Yeah, which is nice. Which is nice. One five three, welcome to Open Again, Alpha, Foxpot, Yankee, Romeo, Stan, Charlie. I think we're just waiting for a few stragglers, passengers, and we can get out of here. Alpha, Foxpot, Yankee, Romeo, Stan, Stan, Charlie, two nine zero. Open Again, Alpha, Foxpot, Yankee, Romeo, Stan, Charlie. <laughs> it got busy like all of a sudden. I just make sure that I got everything working here. So I'll get my Volanta flight tracking set up again for our return leg. I want to get out of here before it gets dark. I want to get out of here before it gets dark. Right, that's good. I got my charts ready. So we're doing the VETA 4 Alpha departure. Is there an uh, altitude to that? He didn't give us an altitude for that. VETA 4 Alpha. Yeah, I don't see an altitude for it. 
I'm gonna assume 7,000. It's our transition. Alright, 7,000 set. Next leg to Austin, Texas from the next airport. That's that's a good what 14 hour, 12, 13 hour flight, I think. What's up, Jeff? Uh, is that AI traffic behind me? Yes, it's a mix. It's some AI traffic, some of them are real people, but we'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. What's up, Abina? We are in Copenhagen. Alright, where is my peeps at? What are they doing? What, what are they doing? Are we still deboarding? What's up? We are still deboarding. Is it possible for me to instantly deboard everybody? We have like 50 people left to get off the plane. I'll just wait. I'll just wait. Trying to have a realistic turnaround. <laughs> Yeah, ATC just hopped on. They just hopped on. <laughs> oh, doors on this side. There it is. What up, Jeff? So this here is Copenhagen. Copenhagen at sunset. Uh, chat, did you guys confirm that this is made by Fly Tampa or is it someone else? I don't want to give Fly Tampa credit if they didn't make it. Beautiful airport, though. Beautiful airport. Look at that. What up, James Johnson? Welcome back, bro. Good to see you. I'm looking forward to watching the sunset, to be honest, guys. I really am looking forward to it. Yes, I am. Where's my plan? Make a, fly, a drive by camera? People always ask me how I do it. This is how I do it. I go into the drone camera, I hit 5 on the keyboard. That resets your drone. I lower the drone camera to like about belly height. Open up the drone showcase camera options. Go to drones. Well, uh, I got the drone lock mode. Turn it on. Drone follow mode. Turn it off. That's it. Now you can rotate. Now you can rotate the camera. Alright, how are we looking now? Uh, does the airport have an interior? Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. I can't... I can't see it too well because I'm um, in the, the camera that follows the plane, but there it is. There it is. Let's wait for a few more passengers, guys, and we are headed back to Oslo. On Vatsim. 
So if you have any questions for me before we push back, let me know, because I am watching the chat. You get a drink of water. The dogs are being good, they're behaving today. They've been bad lately. Them dogs, man. Jeez. You're thinking about you're thinking about getting GSX because it looks so good, and it would probably make flying more fun. But the price, like it's worth waiting for for the forty percent discount that usually comes around sometime. They had a really good discount. Yeah, you're right. Not too long ago. Sadly, you missed out on that one. Uh, I mean personally, I paid full price for it. Uh, so I think it is still worth the full price, but if you can wait for it to go on sale, I mean, I haven't seen it go on sale that often, like maybe twice a year. I think I've, I think I've seen it go on sale maybe two times ever. So if you can wait, then yeah, but I don't know how long you will be waiting for. <laughs> I don't know how long you will be waiting for. Uh, do you have to use Vatsim with Simbit World? No, they are two completely separate things. You do not have to use Vatsim with Simbit World. Uh, Chris, can you resend that question? I missed it. Unless it's on here. Oh, here it is. I found it. Uh, what do you recommend doing to come up with a YouTube name that isn't specific to any sim? Like as if you had a flight sim name on a train sim stream, YouTube name as a viewer. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that is tough. That is tough. Coming up with names for anything is really hard to do. <laughs> um, make it something personal to you. You know, um, something personal to you, but maybe that can also kind of relate. Because even if you're doing train sim and flight sim, you know, you're driving both of them. You could be like something driver, for example, or, um, I don't know, like there may be some relations between the different things that you're interested in that you could, you could name it after. No, don't deboard anybody else. I'm done. I'm ready to go. All right, deboarding complete. Push back trucks to roll up now. What up, Patriot? This is the Phoenix A320. That's a hard one, though. Uh, thinking of a name for anything is tough. Yeah, you're driving planes. Simulator Terminator. <laughs> I like it, Jacob. <laughs> I like it. We are ready for pushback. I like it. And I just call for push and start. Yeah, That's how we uh, uh, gate are we at? Departure check completed. Bypass pin inserted. 10. It's gonna be 116, ready for push and start. Bravo 10. 116, push start, full phase point, Yankee 1, facing east, QNH 1, 0, 1, 0. Facing east, on Yankee 1, it's gonna be 1, 6. Alright. 253, for the kid. 253, for welcome to Taxi to the, uh, the second Navy Airlines hangars via Bravo, uh, Romeo, Wissy, and Tango, cross on level 2. We find out where that is. Tango, Tango. Taxi to the hangar area by Bravo, Romeo, Whiskey, and Tango Command 253. East. It's that way. So, I mean, nose right. Well, uh, Mont Terrific, that's something you're going to have to just uh, overcome, bro. Let's see, nose right, tell left. That's something you're gonna have to overcome uh, for streaming or for anything you want to do. Is uh, overcome that uh, nervousness, the anxiety, the fear, all of that. Uh, if you don't overcome that, you will never become who you are meant to be. 
or who you are capable of becoming, I should say that. All right, Beacon Light is on. We are ready for push. I'm going to kill the music and uh, see if we can hear anything on this pushback. Is she ready? Release parking brakes. Copy brakes. Release to push tail left. Did I do it? Melting push. All engines clear. Start at wind. Alright, it's so every departing zero one zero four right. It's gonna be a pretty long taxi. We're gonna do a single engine taxi on this one. Oh, that's gorgeous. I don't know if Scandinavian starts the left engine or the right engine first, but where I come from, uh, we start the left engine first. That's what I'm going to do today. With the fin air behind us. Right, it looks so good. The way the sun hits right now is just chef's kiss. Am I doing it right? <laughs> I think, is he taking our spot? I think our plane's taking our spot. Engine should be starting. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Set parking brakes. Brake set, clear disconnect, show us the pin. Unlocking gear. Demonstrate the safety features of our Airbus All right, sound on. aircraft. Thank you. Is that how it is? I can't remember. There's a certain button you gotta press when you do a single engine taxi. I always forget what it is. <laughs> I wrote it down for that exact reason. Alright, so engine norm. We'll set our flaps and everything. Arm our speed brakes. Turn our right hydraulic pump on, which I just did. And a I think that's it. Whatever. It works. Crossing with uh, one, two, and holding. Alright, let's get out of here. Sun is setting. Uh, right, approach low, Scandinavian 758, passing one and another, descending 100 per shift. Scandinavian 758, good evening to you. Squawk 4572, please. We hope you have a great flight. Squawk 4572, Scandinavian 758. Copenhagen, Scandinavian 1-6, ready for taxi. Scandinavian 1-1-6, taxi Mike, Zulu, Alpha, Charlie, and Bravo, holding point zero four right. Alright, uh, zero four right via Mike, Zulu, Alpha, Charlie, Bravo, Scandinavian 1-6. Bro, you gotta be ready to copy when you call this guy. <laughs> you gotta be ready, he talk fast. All right, brakes release. Let's get you guys so control cam. And we are up for round two. 
Then Bravo Six, Flight two, Alpha return Fifty, twenty seven point Alpha clearance to Barca Faro Island. Uh, what did he say to do again? Scan Evan one seven seven Sniper Fifty, Mike. Seven, number one. Scan Evan seven five eight, you are identified. Tit Where the heck three. is Mike? Where the heck is Mike? There's Mike in the chat. Can't find Mike. Is it Mike Zulu? Where the heck is Zulu? Where are all these? Ta Am I on the right chart? Yeah, this is Copenhagen. Oh, there's Zulu right there. Mike Zulu. Okay, it's right ahead. Seven five eight. You okay? But it's hit with two elves. I would expect the others. One is zero four left. He's at four thousand feet. The connection. What up, Travis Johnson? Welcome back. Uh, can you do a custom pushback? Yes, you can. Um, but you gotta do a little bit of special stuff to make it happen. It's not very user friendly to make to do custom pushbacks um, in GSX. Uh, the best way to do it is, is to download. A, uh, a custom GSX profile for the airport that you were at, and many times that profile will include the uh, custom pushbacks already per gate. So yeah, I don't I don't do it myself. It's too much work. All right, we're here and we're gonna write on Alpha up ahead, which should be right here. This is Alpha. I'm out here with my freaking map. He did not say to cross the runway. One seven seven seven. Uh, did I see the new? Did I see the new Ghostbusters movie? No, I did not. That's the cabin crew saying that they're ready. Is he just gonna wait there, or what's up? Coming approach, uh, scan in one seven seven seven. We just had a faulty radio. Can we request the uh, IFR clearance again? Is that a real person? I need to know now. I need to know if that's a real person because I can't go through a real person. That is not a real person. That is a fake person. That's an imposter. Uh, he said Alpha Charlie. Yeah, Alpha Charlie Bravo. You recognize the ground controller? That's crazy. Uh, no, this is a uh, approach. Copenhagen, uh, Scandinavian one one six. Are we clear to cross uh, one two? Y'all just ignore this right here. What's about to happen? This kiss of death happening right here. Scandinavian one seven 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 radio check. Get out of my uh, way! Five by five, five uh, we have problems with radio. Sorry about that. Scanning in one seven seven seven. Yeah, we also had some problems with the internet. So, uh, did you get the clearance or you want them again? Uh, negative. We would like the clearance again. Scanning in one that's, seven again, seven. That's AIS, not a real person. You are clear to Vaca, Golka three, Elsa departure, zero four right. The score one seven seven two. Clear to two Vaca via the. He didn't Golka say three. in the. Copenhagen, Scandinavian 1-6, uh, we're on Alpha, are we clear to cross uh, runway 1-2? Hey, Fabulous. Copy. Alright. Zero wings, 145, Alpha Zero, continue. Just have to ask. Currently sending to zero nine zero inbound, inbound waypoint. Uh, so we're gonna go where that Austrian 320 is over there? Zero wings, 145, good evening, you are clear by the morning 3, Alpha, I would expect Dallas, on a zero four left, descent flight level 6 zero. On the Monarch 3 Alpha arrival descent 6060. Yeah, it's busy uh, at Copenhagen. Wow. Is getting in at 758 So we're taxiing on the single engine. Uh, it's a bit of a long taxi, so saving some gas. Ethiopian 787 behind us. 
Coast Guard. Sky Man 1429, information, uh, Alpha Air Force, 320, request vision. Here's the sun setting over there. One, four, four, two, nine, a good yeah. afternoon. You're clear for the end of 12, so I would expect the other one is 0 for less decent flight level uh, 8 zero. Clear the end of 12, on the 0 for less decent flight level 8 zero. Sky Man 1429. And one four two nine, I give you the bike air book. Say again, one four two nine. Pussy bike air book. Air book direct, it's gonna be one four two nine. Sierra Romeo F, you are identified. Climb flight level one nine zero, the high speed is approved. Alright, right turn here. One nine zero, high speed approved. Get out of my car, thank you. Uh, yeah, the GSX custom pushbacks is kind of click and drag, but it's, it's still like. You still have to learn the tool to do it, and it's not hard, but you do have to do it for every single jet, like every single parking spot. Um, and I'm just not interested in learning that much. Good evening, information, Bravo current, you're clear to Stockholm, KMAX 5, Alpha departure, what is 0 for right, the squawk 5, 0, 0, 7. Not interested. Good to Stockholm, Kamek 5, Alpha Departure, and Squawk 5, zero, zero, 007, Scandinavian Force. It's been a while since I did a sun takeoff for departure. Alright, let's get that second engine on. Sierra Romeo Echo 2, right heading 1, 9, and 0 degrees. Starting 2. Right heading 1, 9, and 0, get out of my. What's up, Wesley? Uh, I'm using the Airbus joystick and throttle from Thrustmaster. Uh, if you're over on YouTube or Twitch, you can see it on the cam right now. Yeah, it looks really good, Travis. Really good. Wait till we get in the air. Ooh, this is gonna be gorgeous. Wait till we get in the air. Alright, that number two is still firing up. Uh, 758 turn right, heading three, please, you want to be. Should've started earlier, because usually in real life you want to kind of a warm up time. You want a warm up time for the engine. 145 D, set 4,000 feet to QNH 1010. QNH 1010 to set 4,000 feet, here we go. Yeah, hold me away, could I like Nikos? Yes, that this is, is Microsoft Flight Sim. Do I ever miss the ground crew okay, job in real life? Yes, I do all the time. All the time. Only thing I don't miss is the drive to get there. <laughs> it's like an hour drive for me to get there in uh, one way. And also, I'll be honest, it was sometimes when I was there wishing I was here streaming or, or playing in the sim. Alright, that second engine's firing up. Triple Nine, good crowd at Scandinavian 688, the 7286. Scandinavian 688, good evening to you, decent flight. Thank you so much, Dequan, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow, or Blue Team. Welcome aboard, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Alright chat, let me see those airplane emojis for our final departure of the evening. If you're just joining us, this is Phoenix A320 in Microsoft Flight Center departing out of Copenhagen, headed back to Oslo, Norway on VATSIM Multiplayer. Hope that answers all your questions. Let's call up ATC now that the engines are on. Turned up heading pre-0-0 degrees, 0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0
We are about to see some beautiful night lighting in this plane. This is one of the most beautifully lit aircraft to fly in the dark or in a low light situation. So here we go. Runway 04 right confirmed. That's right there on the runway. It's written down. Skydraven 688, descent light level 9 of all. Rolling start, descent wasting no time. We're going to go straight into the flex. Let's go. Uh, you can proceed like Dolphin. Select Dolphin, get my way up to Keep her center. Airspeed's alive. V1, Rosie. Uh, you're in 145, able to expedite inside just a bit. Uh, we'll expedite here in 145. Thank you very much. Take down to the equation 2000. Continue down to two thousand. Uh, continue down to two thousand here. Skydiving seven five eight. A turn lifting one line of field base lifter. Lifter one hundred degrees to get in seven five eight. Get in one four two nine. He said five thousand feet to get in one kilo one zero. Five seven. Five thousand on one zero. Never climb. Skydiving one one six. You identified. Climb flight level one nine of zero. High speed hold. Up to flight level 190, scan at 106. 190 set. And we're frozen. Fun. Please come back, buddy. Please come back. This is too gorgeous. Scan the name of 758, continue. Turn heading there, one, please. You're going to collection one, two, you're going to be. Still my controls. Continuing there is some wind one, fans on far left. Please, 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 please. 46 Mike, taxi, Yankee, Mike, Zulu, and Edison. Cross one to continue then Charlie and Barbara holding for zero four line. Yankee, Mike, Zulu, Alpha, cross one to Charlie and Barbara, 46 Mike. Hearings 145, right turn to 010, one zero one zero one zero zero one Alright, roll out. Scandinavian 688, descent 4,000 feet to be delivered by Dalton to QNH 1010. Alright, passing uh, transition level. 4,000 to Dalton 1010. Alright, autopilot on. Alright, so we got flaps up. Scandinavian 116 passing 5183. Sorry, repeat that. Scandinavian 758 left trend 06, you're going to get a little bit of 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 a little one six, one one six, no four, November, Oscar, Victor, Papa, Oscar. Uh, clear right now, close, scan every one one six. Hearings one four five, zero four left, your clear land, seven three five, zero eight seven. All right, we direct to now, close, a little shortcut, and now we'll go outside. You can expect so, but I will uh, just go check it in a little bit. Scan it even 116, contact Sweden 132, decimal 765. Bye bye. 3276, scan it even 116. Man, it's busy. <laughs> scan it even 1429, at least at 3 Can't even appreciate the view. 3 times, 3 times, 3 times, 3 times. Was it 765? I think it was. I think it was 765. Let me check. Yeah, it's 765. Uh, approach Scandinavian, or control Scandinavian 116 passing 150 for 190. 
Good evening, Scandinavia 116, Swedish Control, identified truck, flight level 280. Alright, we'll continue up to 280, Scandinavia 116. Alright, now, outside. <laughs> Focus on flying a little bit. So land lights off above 10,000 feet. Don't need that anymore. This is what's annoying because I can never get my mouse on the right spot. All right, rest of that will leave on. We've got those. Thankfully, this is not a career flight, or that would have been a problem. Uh, all right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Once again, we up, baby. If you're just joining us, we just took off out of Copenhagen. A beautiful sunrise. Sunset, I should say. Departure. I like this. Is, this is my view that I like right here. That's my view right there. I like that one. I like that one. What's up, Cafe Talk? Welcome to the stream. Do I play War Thunder? A, a little bit, but I haven't played in a, in a few months. I haven't played in a few months. And proceed direct to Tanor. I haven't played in a few months. And we are currently. We'll turn down ATC a little bit. So I can still hear them. That will bring down the game noise. Just a little bit as well, so we can bring it down, bring it down. We in here, he's cleared us up to like 19, 21,000, something like that. We are able 370 if possible. What's up, Daniel? Playing simulator inside a simulator inside a simulator. Yes. Yes to all that. <laughs> uh, do I have to sit here the whole flight, or can I speed it up? Yes, I have to sit here the whole flight. Thank you. It's uh, this flight we're doing right now is an hour long between Copenhagen and Oslo, Norway. Uh, it's one of the shorter flights. So, but yes, we have to sit here the entire time. Now I can get up. Matter of fact, I am gonna get up here in a few seconds because my dogs are begging me to take them outside. I also just said all the keywords. <laughs> um, usually, I do a little bit of a shorter stream, and so this is me about the time I would usually take them out after my stream. But since we're going a little bit longer, we added a second leg to this flight. Um, they're knocking on my door like, "Hey, man, can I, can I go outside?" So, I need, to, I need to take care of that before they poop in my house because they will. They're young, they're puppies. Uh, which one is better, Fly by Wire or Phoenix? Uh, I mean, probably Phoenix, if you're talking about like level of detail, probably the Phoenix. But I like both of them, and honestly, you don't really have to choose one or the other, you can just use both. Like, seriously, you can just use both. And that's what I do, I use both. Uh, when I want to fly a Neo, I fly the fly by wire. When I want to fly a non-Neo, I fly the Phoenix. I don't really choose based on which one is better, per se. I choose based on which one is accurate to the flight that I'm doing. So, like, if the real-world aircraft flies a 320 Neo, then I might hop in a 320 Neo. Um, up to 5 level 360, scan even 16. 
I have 36,000. What breed are my dogs? Uh, one of them is a Staffordshire Pitbull, I think is what you call it. I know it's Staffordshire. I know that's, I know that's the keyword. We found that out, like, not long ago, that he was that. Um, but he's he's smaller for his his type. And then we have another dog, the newer dog. He's not even a year old. Um, he is a Australian Husky, uh, which is, I think, called an Oski. So um, we named him Ozzy. <laughs> yeah, lame. Um, but that's what I named him. I like it. I'm sticking to it. And um, yeah, so he's he's the one I got to watch out for as far as like not having my eyes on him all the time. He's the one that's tearing up stuff. He might be tearing up something right now. Uh, he's the one that is, is struggling to be potty trained or house trained. But uh, he's getting there. He's doing much better than he used to. Much better. Sweet. Ice cross out again. Sweden, hello, Ryan. I'm on the skate. Clear set over to you, Nana. Hello, Ryan. I'm on the whiskey X ray with an identified. So we are headed back to Oslo, Norway. Yes, the destroyer of furniture. Yes, 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 yes. That is exactly what he, he's doing. <laughs> uh, James, you have a husky rottweiler named Chelsea. That's an interesting mix. Matter of fact, uh, uh, I'm on ATC right now. I'm not sure if you'll let me step away. For like five minutes. Scandinavian 789 and rolling short run with CR3 ready for takeoff. Yeah, we're still climbing. Uh, we're only 30 minutes away from where we're going. And we actually... It's gonna be if seven, eight, nine, nobody go, gets... If nobody anyway. disconnects, we might have ATC for this entire flight from start to finish. Maybe. It's gonna be seven, eight, nine, line we up might. And wait. We'll see. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, eight, line up and wait. Because uh, there's still ATC in Oslo where we're going. It's pretty sweet. Uh, hand fly the arrival and approach? Sure. Why not? I can do that. If that's your challenge, it's accepted. We'll do this. Just remind me because I'll forget. I'll forget. Uh, Henry, am I a pilot in real life? No. I'm a virtual pilot. I am a virtual pilot. But I want to be a real pilot, so I'm a wannabe real pilot. I always call myself a pilot in training. That's really what I am. That's really what I am. And Blue Max, if it's zero eight eight, uh, Somebody's flying Blue Max. Uh, That's a uh, Ryan Air. I was just on, and I wasn't aware of that tower was offline. So, uh, well, uh, expect back to us when you approach runway zero three. I know where it happened, so call back around. Everything uh, was good. We're two th uh, a thousand feet away Thank from you. cruising at thirty six thousand. And then uh, we have a, a bit longer descent, or not longer descent, a longer cruise today than our last flight. Yeah, last flight, our cruise was like 50 miles. This time, all of this is our cruise. This is our top of climb marker right there. And then that there is our top of descent marker. So it's about, what, is that 40 miles in between there? So still short, but. Hello, can they run the 46 max? We then identify climb flat level 280. Protect climb 280, 46 max. Postman 6 on the bar, golf, five steps, the guys are on the 0C. Postman 6 on the golf, wind, uh, How many on, hours do I have max. in Microsoft Flight Sims Nav? Uh, that's a good question. I'd have to go to the main menu to see what my exact number is. Uh, for Microsoft specifically, I could tell you what my uh, VATSIM number is. My VATSIM number includes Microsoft Flight Sim, X Plane, and basically all my flights since I've been flying on VATSIM, which has been years. 
Let me see what number it is. Like, uh, right I can give you that number. Let me see. Hotel Charlie Mike, contact Copenhagen, 136, Let me see what my number is. I know it's a crazy high number. <laughs> I wish I had this many flight hours in real life, I'll tell you that. My in statistics... Hotel, let's see... I have... As a pilot, I have four thousand two hundred and ninety hours of flight time on VATSIM. Yeah. And that's since 2018. I think my first flight was August 26, 2018. It's on this uh, stats sheet that I found on VATSIM. Yeah, sheesh is right. <laughs> uh, do I ever fly two plus hour flights? At all, all the time. Yeah, all the time. Uh, for live streams, I try to keep it underneath two hours uh, so you guys don't get bored. <laughs> um, but uh, when I'm not live streaming, my hours are probably on average around two, two and a half hours. But then I also I have a whole series that I'm doing right now where I've been flying all over the world where I did 12 hour, 14 hour flights. Now I don't sit there for 14 hours. Like, I get it like this, it's cruising, it's on autopilot and I leave and I come back in 12 hours. <laughs> where I just do other stuff, watch movies, work, whatever, you know what I mean? So. So curious, chat. How how are you looking? What's your hours looking like on VATSIM or Microsoft's log on Volanta? What's your what's your logbook look like? How many hours you guys got in flight sim? Just I'm curious of how mature our audience is or how experienced I should say uh, our audience is that's watching. What's good, Kush King? Welcome to the stream, man. But uh, yeah, I don't know how many flights and hours I have in Microsoft specifically. Again, I have to go to the main menu and look at my profile to find out what that is, um, unless you know another way to find it, but I'm not going to pause the flight. Uh, you're about to cross 500 hours in Microsoft Flight Sim Navlog, but mainly you fly GA, so lots of hand flying. Wow, yeah. 500 hours of GA flying? That's a lot of flying right there. That's a lot of flying. Yeah, I do a lot of GA as well. I do GA and I do airliner. So I don't just do one or the other. I do both. Uh, I have a GA I have a couple GA streams that I want to do. I wanted to do them last week. Didn't work out. I, I was considering doing them this week, but this week's already booked. So maybe we can do one or the other next week. I don't want to tell you what they are yet, but uh, they'd be pretty fun. But I've been wanting to do some GA flying. It's been a little, been a little, little while since we've done any. But again, uh, our schedule for this week is today. Obviously, we're doing Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to jump back into Train Simulator. Uh, a new Train Sim DLC is coming out, and I have had the privilege to get early access to it. So I'll be streaming that tomorrow. Uh, I'll be driving through Austria, and then Friday we'll be uh, in Australia, flying in uh, in continuation of my pilot's life career series that I've been doing. Uh, I believe this will be part eleven or 10 one of those so if you haven't seen the rest of my pilot life series um definitely go back and check them out um, it's been a lot of fun to do uh, getting really good feedback on so. i don't know eric i don't know if that time is just logged on to vet sim time or if that's flight hour time i don't know that's the number i go by <laughs> you can assume the majority of that is flight hours maybe knock off 100 hours or something like that that's still a lot of time. Yeah. Are you serious, James? He's been a Laker for a while, LeBron James. LeBron's been Lakers for a few years now. <laughs> I don't. I don't even follow, follow basketball like that anymore, uh, and I know. I know that. Just passed twelve thousand hours in Flight Simulator. Nice. Uh, do I use Four Flight for flight planning? I don't. Um, I don't because for one, four flight is expensive, and thankfully for flight simmers, we have other tools that we can use for free to do this to, to do very similar things. Um, but whenever I do fly in real life, I will definitely renew my four flight, you know, 
license and start using that to help me plan my flights. But yeah, I, right now I use SimBrief for IFR flying. I use SkyVector.com for GA flying. And then I use Navigraph, not really for flight planning, but a little bit of no, flight planning for charts and stuff like that. Winter, you're the, you're the, oh yeah, you're the guy with a hundred flights into Munich. Oh, I, when you told me that, I was like, how do you have a hundred flights going to the same location? I, I couldn't do that. Postman is on the golf contact ground, the one, two, one, right, I'm, nine, I'm gonna, zero, real quick, like, one, ATC one, won't even know I'm gone. One, I'm gonna have my headphones on, these postman, are, uh, these are Bluetooth. I'm just going to make sure that the dog is not eating the couch or anything. Thank you. And I'm going to come right back. All right. So enjoy the cruise. Enjoy the view of the sun setting here over uh, Denmark slash uh, Norway. And I will be right back. Cool. I bet he calls me as soon as I get up. <laughs> What did I tell y'all? I know my dog freaking peed on the floor and was about to go at it on my couch. So I'll be back in a little bit longer. I still have my headphones on and hopefully they don't call me. <laughs> it shouldn't call me. There's nothing to do for at least 10, 15 minutes. But I'm going to keep monitoring it. Just give me a little bit, guys.
Lumex 3088, uh, contact ground, 1 to 1, decimal minor 05. Good evening. 1 to 1, minor 05, from Lumex 3088, bye bye. All right. Unicorn 054, one of the Unicorn. I'm back. Unicorn, one of the Unicorn. This is exactly why they charge extra for bringing animals on board. Anyways, what did I miss? Colony 4087. Look at that sunset. Correction, descent flight 7100. Thank you, Kush King. Appreciate it, man. Oost, man. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Yeah, the 250 is going to go 16. Perfect timing. Wow. Perfect timing. <laughs> I got back just in time. Just in time. All right, what did I see? What did I miss? <laughs> you used to watch the Lakers for uh, Kobe Bryant. Didn't think to watch for LeBron. Yeah, yeah, it, it still is kind of weird for me as well to think that LeBron's at the Lakers. I, I don't know. I think more about him being at Cleveland or even Miami rather than the Lakers. Hey, the control, very good evening. Uh, with five yes, eight, Riley, five this is zero, zero. Scandinavian Airbus A320, my friend. Good evening with uh, 589 and control. Squawk 61. Yes, three, it is. Seven. Good spot. Squawk six, one, and we zero, just are descending. Five, eight, uh, we're going to Oslo today. And let's see, are we still going to have ATC in Oslo, or has anybody jumped off? No, yep, everybody's still online. We sh we might... Uh, we start fine, we fine. Yeah, we then should be good. We should uh, get ATC all the way in approaches online in Oslo. I'm not sure how long they're going to stay on. What's up, my mood? He's sorry, what's the stream? Yes, yes. Good. Thanks for asking. Yes, I will be at Flight Sim Expo this year in June. If you guys not aware, uh, there is a Flight Sim Expo event happening in Las Vegas in June. I will be there. Uh, pretty much. Scandinavian 116. Contact Polaris 121. Bye bye. 121 Scandinavian 16. Thanks, man. Good day. All right, one two one five five zero. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, also, many of your other favorite live streamers and content creators will be there in the flight sim community. A lot of people, not just streamers, <laughs> will be there. Uh, many people from the community. One of my favorite parts about going to the event is meeting so many different people, so many different faces uh, from different backgrounds that are part of our community. You also get to meet the developers of Microsoft Flight Sim, of X-Plane, of P3D even, uh, of the Phoenix. The Phoenix team, I'm pretty sure, will be there. I know Fly By Wire will be there. Um, PNDG is gonna be there. Uh, I and I Builds. I mean, it's just everybody that you recognize and know from the community, or just most of them are going to be there, um, including you, hopefully. Uh, all right, so we're switching over to 155. Uh, Pro scan avion one six descending past flight level two eight zero for two five zero. Scan one one six Polaris control descend flight level one two zero cleared Lunip for Lima arrival. Down to one two zero clear uh, Lunip arrival. Scan avion one six. Scan one six confirm Lunip for Lima arrival. Lunip for Lima arrival descend via uh, scan avion one six. I, I do have that. I just forgot the number. <laughs> so, pretty straightforward. Just, uh, I will cross Lunip. I already have my constraints here on the screen as well. The peak numbers are our altitude and speed restrictions. Danny 625, when ready, descend 4000 feet. QNH 1010. Oh, wait, he said descend via. So, 
four thousand. That oh well, you said one two thousand. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. So down to twelve thousand feet, but descend via the lunip. All right, gotcha. That's what we're doing. Hello, Control. Good evening, Speedboat Three Delta Mike. Chris, you. Uh, did I keep the drawing that you did for my birthday? I want to say yes. I don't know where it is, but yes, <laughs> it's probably in my bag from last year's expo. That's probably where it is. Matthias is in the chat. What's up, bro? Always good to hear from you, man. What now? Uh, clear direct. What was the waypoint? Nosla, November, Oscar, Sierra Lima Alpha. It's on the ILS zero one right. Oh, now that's well. Copy, uh, direct to that waypoint, it's gonna be 116. <laughs> November Oscar Sierra Lima Alpha. November Oscar Sierra Alpha. I don't see it. Yeah, stand by. I'm looking for it. Blue game? Maybe. All aboard! Spencer's asking. I think he gave us one right, right? Is that what he said? So one right would be a different approach. Stand by, chat. I'm sorry. I can't look at you guys right now. I gotta focus. I gotta focus. I gotta focus. I gotta focus. Uh, four right. Ah, uh, here it is. Four right. Give me the, give me the chart. Give me the chart. I need the chart. Three for Romeo. Turn left, Found it. Alright, we gotta change our, our thingy. Turn left, uh, 100 and descending 5,000 feet. Alright, so it's one right, for not left. Right at 4, speedbird 172. Speedbird 172, Polaris Control, go ahead. Um, maintain 5,000-322-0228, uh, 22 And direct to... There is no... In no front slot. of you. There she is. No wake to consider even. And direct. So three for sure should be fine for wake. No, no, I'm talking about the heavy aircraft, so maybe we'll make taxi to the But there, there are no heavy aircraft around you. <laughs> no, I'm talking about myself, bro. You want to wake from yourself? Yeah, we can climb to flight says, best airport you've ever seen. Oh my god, wow. And you've seen a lot in 27 years. It is really good looking. Wow, that is a huge compliment. Look at that sunset. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Another reflection off of the off of there as well. Marco, this is our second flight and last flight for today's live stream. What's up, nice side gaming? Welcome back to the stream. Good to see you. Uh, all right, Scandinavian one one six finally has that waypoint. We're going to direct Nosla. Thanks, contact approach 120, decimal 450. Oh, or 120, decimal 45, and sorry for the mix up. And no worries. See you. CB3 for Romeo, descend 4,000 feet. Let's be a tree for Romeo. Let's get it in Approach Scandinavian 116, passing 5020 descending via the uh, Lenu for Lima. Scandinavian 116, Oslo approach, good evening. I expect ILS 01 right. Yep, that will expect 01 right. Uh, Scandinavian 116. I love this song. Alright, one last song. Turn up before we get to where we're going. Anybody like jazz? Oh, this is perfect for the night lighting we got going on right now. Oh, 
Hello, Pritch. Good evening. Speedbird 767. Let's stand 6-4 with information Romeo. Nice, Sad. You're finally switching to Fiber in about a week, bro. It's going to make a massive difference. Massive difference. It's all good, glorious trades. You just got to learn, man. It's you just Heathrow. might need to watch a tutorial too. Uh, You're good. <laughs> You're good. One left, um, climb by a seven thousand feet. Squawk three seven two. But yeah, fiber two makes a massive six difference. Six uh, seven, six, seven, I had cool. fiber at one of my first apartments and loved it. I moved, and a new place I went to did not have fiber. I was literally one house away from having fiber, and. It pissed me off. I was like, what do you mean I can't get fiber? My neighbor got fiber, but I can't get fiber. Um, anyways, and then when I moved to where I'm at now, um, I was like, I got to get fiber again. <laughs> so 100% um, it's a massive difference. I have crazy good upload, crazy good download. Now, some people don't need fiber. That's the thing. Like for me, I upload a lot of videos, um, a lot of very large files. You know stuff like that i live stream obviously that's super helpful for those kind of things uh if you want to host a server or something like that you might want to have a stronger faster internet uh, some people are just watching netflix like you don't really need fiber if you're just binge watching tv shows uh east sin we are about to land very soon we're descending right now and we're probably about, I don't know, 10 minutes away from wheels down. Scan Bolivian 116, descent flight level 100. Down to flight level 100, it's gonna be 116. Where are we at now? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do an OP descent. That'll get us down there faster. All right, let's turn it down. Nice little jazz break. I hope so, Zach Martinez. I hope so, man. Had a good landing. I think I had a good landing in Copenhagen. So hopefully we have a good landing in Oslo. And I will definitely be recording the replay for us to watch as well. Mr. Santa Claus, welcome back. Good to see you. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah, fiber can be cheaper. It depends where you live. It depends where you live. It can be cheaper. And we actually might... Uh, I don't know. The sun is really close to set. I was going to say we might get down before it completely goes down, but I think we're going to be kind of like at a dusk. we look like, like a dusk setting when we get down there. The sun will be down, but the, it'll still be light in the sky. Uh, did I ever get a go-around... In my Simbit career stuff. Wait, what? <laughs> a go around, or did I ever get around to doing a flight for it? I have, I've had a go around. My last go around, I think, was in New York when I flew to New York at night uh, with Aero Mexico. We had a go around. I have that recorded. That's in one of the videos. It's actually a funny story. The go around was because another pilot had an emergency. So the uh, controller put me in a go around. Uh, Marco, we are in Norway. Scan the one one six, high speed approved, descend five thousand feet, QNH one zero one one. Alright, down to five thousand, high speed approved, scan one one six. Alright, we're gonna descend pretty quickly, twenty five hundred feet per minute should be good. And it said high speed approved. I don't really know exactly what that means. Does that mean I can go faster than normal under 10,000? Or does that mean I can descend with a higher vertical speed than I would normally do? But we're going to go ahead and get the uh, landing lights turned on and get that out of the way. Sorry, the click spots are so weird. It takes me forever to do this. I really need to like map my landing lights to like a button on my stream deck or or something that's, so I don't have to reach up there and click it every time. Alright, descending past 10,000 now for 5,000 feet. 
I do not have eyes on the airport. We're still a little ways away from the airport. And the sun is gone. Uh, who's my favorite jazz artist? I actually don't have one. Um, I don't really, like, I like jazz, but I'm not, like, so deep that, like, I have a particular artist that I listen to. I just, like, go on Spotify, search jazz, <laughs> and whatever I find. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't, you know. Thank you uh, for that sub. I think it was Lace was the name. I hope I said that right. Thank you so much, though, for, uh, for the subscription. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Thank you for the support over there on YouTube. Really appreciate it. I was going to do something in Simbit World today. No. Oh, yesterday I said that. Yeah, so today we were going to do a live flight with Simbit World. But because this flight we're doing now got delayed a day, uh, we're doing this flight today. And I'll do the Simbit World flight or the Pilot Life Series flight. We'll do that on Friday. No worries. Taxi straight at stand 1-6. Straight there, do one six, skinning and nine, ten, ten. Flaps full, out of throttle one. No, actually, be off. Uh, reverse, manual land, medium model brake. It'll be a stream, it'll be an actual live stream, not a premiere. And this is nice. Moving to one three one one taxi right Tango and Juliet stand. I think he wants us to descend faster because he's gonna give us straight in. Yeah, I think he he wants to put us straight in for zero one right, so we have to be like down down. Good evening. Let's go a bit faster. No 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 no. Get down. There we go. Now she's descending. Now she's descending. Almost there. Like I love one thing I like about the these engines is they look so good at night. Like the way the texture reflects, like the material texture on this engine, is it's, it's, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but for me, like when I fly an airliner specifically, like the this view right here has to Cabin be like be on point. For landing. Thank you. Like your engine, like you can't put no low res engine. Oh no crap! You said five thousand up. Thanks for flying, Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> he said 5,000, not 2,000. What was that? Can read 116, stop descent, 3,000 feet. Ah, we'll stop at 3,000. Sorry, I put the wrong number in. Shit happens. It does. Alright, he gave us clear to 3,000, so we'll just sit down to 3. Turn my terrain radar on, because there is terrain. Where is that button at again? Do I have a terrain radar on here? Uh, uh, what was a the ATIS? The NGM arrival. So we have information in uh, India. One right, eighty-five. I think I missed my gate. Can we take a stand three eight? Thank you very much. Alright, that's set. Scan the radio band on six via Nusla, cleared ILS, runway zero one right. Via Nusla, cleared ILS, you're one right. It's gonna be one one six. Sweet, we've already got clear for the ILS. Sixteen miles out, guys. Sixteen miles out. Let's go get the. The uh, replay. Scan the rating 6 2 Tango, push and start the route to QH 1011. Push and start the route to QH 1011. And let's get slowed down. I 
All right, two one zero will do. I have eyes on the airport. Right over there. And we hit approach mode. So somebody in chat did tell me to fly this by hand. So I will do that. Let me just make sure I have everything else ready. Just for information, we'll be closing shortly. So it will probably be Polaris Control 121550 when you're back. Just make sure to double check. All right. Uh, Roger, I will double check when I'm back. Uh, Polaris Control, I think I don't need a reclearance. That's correct. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Yeah, well, bye bye. Yeah, the airport's lit up. The airport is lit up. All right, we turn music off and turn the in game sounds up. I'm gonna fly it a bit from a bit farther out this time. Make sure I have everything set up and going here so I don't have to mess with anything while I'm flying. Something I was gonna do, I can't remember what it was. Alright, we are 11 miles out. Please don't crash, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Oh, I forgot my tracker. All right. Oh, the charts is what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Zero, one, right. I see we are. All right, guys. My controls. Oh, that dude, the sound. Let's get this butter. How do I tell how far I am from the airport? It says it right here. 6.5 miles. You're down. Clear land, Scandinavian 116. All right, pretty good. Lap drag made me just balloon like crazy. This is my kind of night landing. It's not quite nighttime, like it's not like dark, dark. There's still a bit of light in the sky. You can see sun on our left, darkness on the right. Dark enough for the city lights to be out, but too. But uh, still light enough, you can still actually see the ground. Alright, we're a little low. Two miles. I see two white, two red. Yep, manual landing, Henry. Let's keep her in the center.
Yeah. Speedbird 767, back at cockpit, you're still online? Speedbird 767, yeah. Uh, just about to close, Polaris 121550. 60 knots. Speedbird 767, take seven, nice evening. Roll out. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, flight deck, this is your captain speaking. I want to say welcome to. Oslo. Then taxi Juliet stands three six. Sorry, repeat that one more time for Scandinavian one six. That was not ready. Scandinavian one one six. Back at left. Taxi Juliet stands three six. Copy. Vacate left. Stand uh, to Juliet three. Uh, didn't stand three six. Scandinavian one six. Thanks for your service, man. Thanks for flying. Good evening. All right, so Juliet is right here. I gotta find out where the heck three six is. Welcome, welcome to Copen. Uh, sorry, Oslo. <laughs> Bro, I couldn't in in real life. I would struggle with remembering where the heck I was. Help you complete your journey. I really would. I would struggle. All right, let's get some things clean. We'll continue to three six. Get the land lights off. Uh, strobe lights off. And he said, Juliet, basically straight in. Four stations. Oslo approach is closing. Further with Polaris control on frequency one two one. And we got in here just in time before ATC hopped offline. I said, stand three six, which is basically straight in and on the corner. Let's see if GSX can help us out with that as well. So we'll let it roll forward. Yeah, it looked pretty smooth to me. A little bit sketchy towards the end there, a little bit, but I think it was alright. I think it was alright. Alright, looking for stand 3-6. There it is. Nope. All right, it's my. This is actually my first time getting to see this airport under the lights. Again, this is Oslo Airport in Norway. This is our featured airport today by Aerosoft. Comes out on the 18th, which I think might be tomorrow. Um, definitely one of the nicest airports I've seen on Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, Matthias in chat, who now works for PMDG, used to work for Aerosoft, uh, and says in his 27 years is the best airport he's ever seen, which blows me away. Like, I'm like, there's a lot of great airports out there. You got JFK, Detroit, London, you know, a lot of great airports out there. So to put it on a pedestal like that, that's pretty, pretty impressive. But I do I have to admit, it does look really good. Oh, yeah, and he gave us the perfect gate. I like this spot. All right, let's see. Yep, he's coming in. All right, let's go ahead and jump down to the ground view, and we'll watch ourselves um, park. We'll have marshal ourselves in. Thank you, Henry. Uh, how am I talking to real ATC? I have a, uh, what do you call that radio? The special radio? No, I'm just kidding. It's it's multiplayer. It's VATSIM. It is a real person. It is a real person, but it's it's not like I'm not talking to you know the guy in in real life. All right, I think that'll work right there. All right, bring it in. Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot the light the lights. All right, there we go. She's not doing a good job. I 
Hey, right, break set. And she says, cut him off. Uh, my APU's not on. I'm actually not going to shut the engine off because I want to do the replay. And I'm not sure how, uh, if the replay is going to capture the engine correctly if I shut him off. So I'm going to leave him on. Uh, we'll log our flight and we'll hop right back out here and watch the replay. So give me just a second. I'm going to save the replay right here. And I want to see. We missed the replay on the first flight because we did the second leg. Our landing rating for this past la landing was 144 was our landing rating. Our first landing was a 200. My goal was to beat that in the second leg, and we got a 144 this time. So I'll take that any day. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let me get off of that. Some big shout out to the Nordic controllers, the Norway controller, the guy in Copenhagen. Uh, great ATC out here. Really appreciate you guys for coming out. I know they didn't—they didn't come out for me. They just happened to be on. But thank you guys so much for controlling um, all the Vatsim controllers. Thank you for what you do. Uh, you make what we do much more fun and enjoyable. All right, so the replay is saving. I'm gonna go ahead and reload the replay. The engine should be up. Wow, you guys think MK Studios LaGuardia is that good? Uh, okay, wow. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but you guys make it sound like it's like all that in a bag of Cheetos. So I'm really gonna have to check it, take a, take a closer look at this LaGuardia that's come out. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little worried about my New York area. My JFK is crazy detailed. I already get stutters in JFK and, and not so great, you know, <laughs> FPS from I and I build JFK, which is pretty darn good. One of the best I've seen. And then for LaGuardia, just around the corner to come out with a high quality airport as well. I'm like, ah, am I gonna have any FPS left in New York City? All right, let's load the replay. And see how we did. Again, guys, we'll be back on Microsoft Flight Sim Friday. That's two days from now on Friday, continuing my virtual pilot career series. Uh, we've done 10 videos of this series. I've been really enjoying it as we follow along my career. Uh, but the next one will be a live stream. Terrain ahead. Pull up. All right, here it is. And then tomorrow, we'll be doing train sim. If you like trains, come through. <laughs> All right, so we've loaded up our replay. Oh, camera's still over there. There we go. And what you can do too is you can actually rewind the time if you don't like, you know, what it is. We just go back. It was, we'll go like around here. Yeah, I like that. That way we can see. There's the gear dropping. And then again, we're using flight control replay for uh, to record and replay my replays. You could also, if you wanted to, you could re record it, and you could actually start flying from that point again if you wanted. I don't really use it for that reason, but you could do that if you wanted to. Like, if this landing was horrible, and I want to redo it, I could go back in my recording and hit play from there. All right, let's see how we did. Again, we flew it by hand for basically the final, was that 10 miles? Added some throttle, came in a little bit steep at for a second. And oh butter, come on. Bro, there's so much butter on that landing. I'm gonna be lactose intolerant from now on. Wow, that was smooth. I tell you man, this thing's a butter machine. It's so easy to land. Like 
it's actually not even correct. Like the flight model is not even completely right. But in its current state, like it just it just butters, man. Soft touch. That's what that was. It was very gentle. Very gentle. Alright, let's play it again from out of here. I love the way that sun hits the back. Yep, Mark, this is the A320. That's satisfying. That's very satisfying. Oddly satisfying. All right, we are going to do, let's do the wing views. And then we'll come back and do some fly-by plane spotting cameras. We'll start with the left side. Hopefully everything looks okay. I'm gonna turn on FS Realistic so I can get some bounce. Realistic. Bounce, 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 bounce. All right, and play. My speed brakes were not out. It's just a a thing with the replay. So good to be back in Norway, guys. I really do want to spend more time out here. I'm really considering coming out here for my pilot career series so I can do some some local domestic flying out here. Butter. Butter. We didn't even stay in the reverser that long. Like we were, so we stopped really quick. I was in. I was using auto brake medium. Probably should have used auto brake low for a bit of a, a nicer passenger experience. But you know, is what it is. Let's do from behind the wing. In fact, I don't. I like the other side better. We'll go to the other side. <laughs> Put some R Kelly with the bounce. Yes, sir. All right, running back. Yeah, I haven't actually been on a plane in a while. The next time I'll be on a plane is going out to Las Vegas for Flight Sim Expo. Uh, I don't have any plans to be on a plane before then. I don't know that I've gone on any trips this year. Been trying to save money. Look at the flaps vibrating as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. I, I love the detail behind the spoilers. Looks so good. Alright, now, let's go back. This is one of those landings you can watch about a hundred times. That's one of these landings. We'll do the flyby cam. Now, I believe Flight Control Replay has its own flyby cam. I have not used it yet. All I don't know how to use it. I know it exists, though. Thank you, ZK, for the sub. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Hope you're doing good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, that should be good. All right, that's it. I think that should be far enough. Yeah, let's try that angle right there. Alright, run it back. Now 
One thing I hope that Microsoft changes in Microsoft 2024 is you see that that that, that light, like, I mean, I'm it's it, it could be better. Let's just say like that. Like the light, the landing light shine effect from the landing gear could be better. Not just a flickering, but just like in general, just kind of like how it looks, um, the way it illuminates everything around it. It could be better. Got a little bit of uh, turbulence right there to drop that left wing, but after that, fixed it, and we are on the runway. Uh, what f I'm flying Southwest actually to Expo. This is my uh, it's my first time ever flying with Southwest. I've never flown Southwest in my life. I've never been on a Southwest plane. So um, on the way to Expo, I'll be flying Southwest. So I will not sure which 737 I'm gonna be on, but I will be on a 737. I'll be direct flights both ways, going there and going home. Hopefully I like it. <laughs> nice. You tried to get in contact with SAS and you got rejected. Yeah. Isn't it a four star or a five star airline? It's one of the higher tier airlines in, in the Simbit world. So you may have to you may have to wait a bit before you can get approved to fly for this air airline in your airline careers. What's up, Ulysses? Eden, welcome to the stream. Welcome aboard. We're almost done here, though. Uh, we're just watching our landing. Once we finish with this, we'll get out of here for today. Again, we'll be live again tomorrow with some train simming and Friday back with some flight sim. That's the plan. Oh, yes. That's that butter right there. That butter bread. Just don't fly Spirit. I've done Spirit before. I think my first flight sim expo, I flew Spirit. Matter of fact, I think my last one, I flew Spirit, too. I don't remember actually if I flew Spirit last time. I want to say I did. I'm pretty sure I flew Spirit last time I went to Expo. I, I fly Spirit pretty often. Like I know people be be hating on the Spirit, but like it's cheap. You can't beat cheap. It's like hey, yeah, you don't get any TVs or leg room, but it's this much. I'm like, all right, okay. What up, Wolf Spirit? Walk to the stream. Uh, am I a real pilot? Not necessarily. No, I'm not. Would like to be though. All right, one more time landing in Oslo. Come in the chat. Let me know where you're watching it from, so I can give you a quick shout out before we leave for this final landing from way out. Thank you guys so much for coming through. And uh, again, sorry about yesterday. Um, Microsoft flight sim crashed, and uh the stream crash like everything just crashed on me uh it was really just really disappointing because i was really looking forward to this flight today or yesterday um so glad that we we're able to get it working and get the full flight plus a bonus flight today so uh thank you you'll you'll uh eden <laughs> for hanging out thank you for representing jersey uh emily thank you so much mark thank you so much marco thank you as well you guys were chill a little bit with us today this was fun. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Ulysses. Thank you. Sorry I pronounced your name wrong. I just could not figure out how to say it. <laughs> but guys, that's it. Again, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Or Friday. And if not, next week or sometime in the future. Until next time, though, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time, next video. We out, baby. Sheesh.